Hey everybody, Snoop Lax here, and today we're going to be checking out probably one of the greatest Banjo-Kazooie ROM hacks of all time. This is Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggies of Time by Mark Kirkle. And Mark Kirkle has been working on this hack for over five years. And he's been working on it so long, the areas that he initially did, he redid, because within the five years he got so much better at ROM hacking that he literally redid the initial areas that he did at the start, so this ROM hack is going to be truly amazing. It's going to be the entirety of Ocarina of Time in Banjo-Kazooie. Right here we start out in Link's house. As you see we have his tunic, his hat, his belt. We got a 64 in the background with the Jiggies of Time playing with uh, the Jiggies of Time cart and the box and everything. And you know what was one of the craziest things is I'm playing this on actual Nintendo 64 console too. So this entire mod is console compatible. So much to do. This is probably going to be one of the longest ROM hacks I've ever played. This is probably going to be one of the longest videos on my channel also, but I'm going to cut this down. So if you're seeing two hours on the runtime, it's probably going to be me playing for 12 hours cut down to two. I guess little things like this sink here, actual water underneath, you know, just the crazy attention to details here. But yeah, let's head out here. Hey guys, who's ready for an adventure? Well hey, at last a brand new game. Er, not exactly, this is another Kirkle Mods crossover this time, between Banjo-Kazooie and Ocarina of Time. Again? Are you kidding me? Oh well, he's too lazy to ever make a full length game. We'll wrap this up in half an hour. Sorry skinny legs, but it won't be so simple. Grunty turned all of Hyrule into her own cursed kingdom, so you have hours and hours of adventures ahead of you. Sounds like fun. Where do we start? The great Deku Tree can tell you more. However, you'll need to learn to shoot eggs to get to him. Great. Teach me how, Goggles. Slow down there. You can go to the Lost Woods to learn how to use them. On the way there, you can learn your basic moves again. Sound like a plan? You got it, Bottles. I've always wanted to explore Hyrule. It sounds like a neat place. Press A if you want me to guide you through the Lost Woods while teaching you your moves. Or press B if you think you're good enough to explore them on your own. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I know basic moves. Remember how to use the basic moves already, Bottle Brains. Now let me shoot eggs. Hmm. If you say so, I'll teach you how to in the Lost Woods, then if you don't get lost first. So, Mark Kirko has been working on this mod for five years, but he's also put out other mods, like, while well, he's been working on this, that I've covered on my channel, like... Banjo-Kazooie in Clock Town, Banjo-Kazooie in Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie in The Wind Waker. He has made so many mods, it's honestly ridiculous, and I'm just so excited that this full-length mod is finally out. Very cool initial area here. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is usually the shop. Alright, we got Bentilda here. Hello, Bentilda. Hello again, young ones. I've come to Hyrule to aid you in defeating my nasty sister. I have clues about each area of Hyrule which will surely help you in your adventure. Each time you find me, I'll give you three clues. Press B to hear them. I'll come back here if I can't figure stuff out, I guess. Oh, so they have all this blocked off. I thought we could probably just collect that. Game Guide Mark Kirko. <laughs> so cool that he has the Game Guide. Oh! And even has the special uh, shop music, too. Imported that into the game. But yeah, we'll talk to Brentilda if we ever get stuck. Got the back room here. I like how there's a picture of the D uh, Deku Tree over there. Even like the little things like these blinds flapping and stuff, just the attention to detail that he has is just honestly amazing. Alright, we got our first Jiggy. Even this uh, rendition of the Cockery Forest music is so good too. This just makes me feel like I'm playing like Ocarina of Time for the first time again. This is such a weird nostalgic villain. So we, we gotta go to the Lost of Woods to learn how to use these eggs. Alright, let's see what Bottle says here. See that sign that says Lost Woods? If you go through an entrance with a sign like that, it means you're leaving the current world. But what about the sign with the note on it? 
If you go through an entrance with a note sign, you'll lose all your notes from the level you're in. Your highest note score will be retained, though. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Looks like we'll need to collect them all in one go if we want to succeed. Great. More padding. <laughs> that is so cool that he did that, because honestly, if I were to just walk in that area and lose all my notes, I would have been just a little bit ticked off at Mark Kirko. He has that insight and the good game design to put a sign there and let us know, so... Good game design right there. Let's see what's over here. This is usually the area where you get your, uh... The, your initial sword again in the game. I think the Kikiri sword. This should be a Jiggy. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll just head into Lost Woods here. Which is its own world, which is <laughs> kind of crazy. Okay. I've hidden six extra honeycombs in the Lost Woods. They'll help a lot if you're clever enough to find them. Oh, sweet. With the Lost Woods theme. Gosh, that's a lot of tunnels. Where do we even start? Begin by going to the left. Careful, though. Going in the wrong tunnel will bring you back to Kikiri Forest. Alright, oh, such a cool rendition of the Lost Woods theme. That's... Alright, so start at the left. Wow, we really made it the same. Alright, please just teach me how to lay the eggs. What do I look like? A fairy? You said he didn't need help, so scram. Okay. So he would have taught me probably the backflip move here. Perfect camera adjustments here. <laughs> Oh, such cool. He replaced all the sound effects and everything. Like, so cool. Alright, well that door... Every single one of these areas leads to another area. I don't know. So that takes me out. Okay, let's try going to the right. Oh, okay, yeah, so a lot of these areas take me to another place. Okay, so this area here. Oh, wait. This molehill will teach the bu buzzard how to shoot eggs. But you gotta find a way to get up first. Alright, so we're gonna need to gonna learn the jump. Alright, so right then left. It's kind of cool how we have to backtrack just a little bit to get to... to fun and learn how to shoot eggs. Right, left. Alright, sweet. Another honeycomb. Hopefully this is the shock jump here. What do I look like? A fairy? You said you didn't need help. So scram. Okay, let's try right... Uh... Hopefully, yeah, hopefully this is the right way. This is, uh, probably honeycomb down there. Okay, got a token. It's like a perfect little tutorial area, too. Just to learn all the moves and all the basics. We can go through these leaves, but... Wait. Oh! Okay, sweet, so there's a hidden path right here. So now this should hopefully take me to the area where I learned the shock jump. That, that'd be the dream right now. Okay, where have I been to this area before? Oh, no, I definitely haven't. I don't remember seeing one of those guys. It's cool that I like retextured the cabbage. Okay, so we're at the other side of this door now. So please, this should be to learn how to shock jump now. I think I've done enough. What do I look like? A fairy? You said you didn't need help. So scram. Oh. Oh, I spoke too soon. 
Jeez, already with the difficult puzzles here, Mark Kirko isn't playing around. Okay, so go this way, get the token. Head back up. Okay, I thought I might be like softlocked there or something for a minute without having that jump pad. Oh! Okay, so we're supposed to head over here. So this uh, beehive is actually like guarding the tree. Alright, now is the shock jump. Alright, you'll reach new heights with my shock jump. Okay, finally. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Okay, you've done enough. You're ready to learn to shoot blue eggs. See you at the Lost Woods, shooting egg area. Alright, sweet. That's very cool how he kind of like worked up to him the shock jump, and he teased it a lot, you know? It's nice like when game developers kind of like show that ability a lot before you collect it, it makes collecting it seem a lot more important. Alright, we're just missing one. One honeycomb, and then we're we done with the Lost Woods. I wonder if speedrunners could cheese that and find a way. I'm sure they could. Probably someone already knows how to get there without the shock jump. You got the slingshot. Dun -na -na. What? What you said? I get to shoot eggs, banjo? Hold them down. I'm only joking. Calm down. Hold Z and then press the C buttons to shoot out eggs out of your mouth. That's more like it. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Ugh, I always forget about that one. You can go into first person mode with the top C button to aim more precisely before you shoot. Try it on the big nut hanging from that tree. Well, you finally prepared to visit the Great Deku Tree. Your eggs can destroy the cobweb and cuckery forest. Now, get going. Okay, cool. I'm really hoping that's uh, the last uh, honeycomb piece in there. Alright, nice. Good game design right there. Alright, all six honeycombs. Alright, now we should be able to shoot down these cobwebs and 100% this level. Alright, so we need 50 notes to get out. It's kind of cool that you can jump off the bridge and... Wait, what's that? I think that's an easter egg here. Yeah, we got a Donkey Kong Country at the box. No, there's so many hidden easter eggs. I think Mark Kirko had like dozens and dozens of games in here. Oh wow, there's a tunnel over there. Oh, come on. Right, I'll worry about getting those nuts later. I think right now it's time to get to the the great deco tree. Especially if there's another sub area. I might not even have to worry about notes right now. Alright, cool, the great Taku tree. Let's see what uh, Bottles has to say here. 
You two stand before the great Deku Tree, guardian of the Kokiri Forest. Hello, Mr. Tree. Oh, Bottles, thou has returned. Banjo-Kazooie, welcome. Thou has done Hyrule a great service in accepting this most arduous undertaking. Now listen carefully to what I tell you. All the characters of this world has been waiting for the events of this game to occur, such as they has always been programmed. Ganondorf, King of Gerudos, would has broken into the castle of Hyrule. I would have seen Davi to awaken the only boy in the forest without a fairy, and entrust with him the destiny of the kingdom. Then he would have obtained the obtain the three spiritual stones, allowing Gal Ganondorf to enter the sacred realm and take the Triforce for himself. And furthermore, zzz. but suddenly an evil witch called Gruntilda appeared. She changed the programming of our world. Link, the hero of time, was not prepared for such a threat. And so, Hyrule's last hope falls on thou, the heroes who defeated the evil witch in the game, Banjo-Kazooie, so many years ago. Hear that, Kazooie? He called us heroes. Gruntilda hasn't entered the Sacred Kingdom through the Temple of Time and obtained the Triforce. She has sealed the door with one of her powerful spells, and the only way to open it is with the Jiggies of Time. The Jiggies of Time? Let me guess, Bark Breath. There's a whole bunch of them scattered around arbitrarily, and we've got to collect the lot. Indeed, in each world there are 10 Jiggies and 100 notes. Thou must collect 50 notes to leave Cock... Cockery Forest, and many more to reach the witch. Art thou up to the task of saving Hyrule? Absolutely. Come on, Kazooie. It looks like we've got a grand adventure ahead of us. Huh. You're lucky we don't have anything better to do, Stumpy. Can someone who doubts be so uncouth truly be a hero? You get used to it after a while. <laughs> hey, sick. Very good dialogue. Like, Mark Kirkle just really, really nailed it there. Definitely seems like uh, very vanilla and something that Rare would program. I kind of like these pumpkins over here. I think we got another hidden game right here. Is this Banjo Kazooie? Cocorico Pizza. This little things like this is uh, so cool. Wait, wait, is this a fake Jiggy? At least that has to be a fake Jiggy, yeah, okay. I've played enough Mark Kirkle ROM hacks to be able to identify a fake Jiggy. He got me the first time. The first time he put one of those fake Jiggies in, I definitely just ran right into it, but. Let's see what we got here. Another Easter egg game. We got Mario Bros. The original Mario Bros. for the NES. Okay, can we go inside the Great Deku Tree? I'm assuming so. <laughs> oh, they got the Great Deku Tree music just down to a T. Oh wow, he retextured almost all the enemies, like they look really good. Very fitting for Ocarina of Time. Oh, Gold Feather. So we should be collecting those. Hopefully we'll learn that move soon. Okay, is this going to be a sub area? Kinda, it's kind of a sub area. Alright, got an extra life. Alright, sweet, got a jiggy. Yeah, but somehow there's 10 in here, so we still got a ways to go. Wee! 
Wait, is that a hidden game right there? Oh yes it is, we got Goldeneye in the corner. There's a bunch of hidden games in here. I doubt I'll be able to find them all, but <laughs> I'll definitely point them out when I see them. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of timestamps in the description of games just right in the open that I missed. <laughs> Let's see what's through this door. I think this is usually where the boss would be. I'm really thinking this is gonna be a jiggy in here. Sweet, yeah, another jiggy. Oh yeah, I don't have the uh, the ground pound yet, or the beak buster, or whatever it's called. Hopefully this teaches me the beak buster. Just a guess. I call this move the beak buster. Okay, cool, called it. Alright, so these are all the moves we can learn Cocky Forest. Oh, they have really small honeycombs so that we can get them without breaking that open. Yeah, we got Banjo Kazooie. Okay, cool. Took a little bit of fall damage, but it's all good. Alright, and there should be. Something down here, most likely. Oh, sweet, we got a click clock wood switch. Oh, that opens the area of the lost woods. That's cool. Wait, wonder what's even gonna be in there? Because we got all six honeycombs, like, what could it be? And there really shouldn't be any jiggies in there. I'm really curious now, but we can't go there until we collect all 100 notes, obviously, because we don't want to ruin our note score, but. back into the shop and get the couple notes that were in here. All right, now we can actually break these instead of just jumping on to get the note. Okay, so you're supposed to go up there like that. I thought that that backup was a little bit too precise earlier, so that all makes sense now. Even just having this like working waterfall and everything. Mark Kirkle must know like Banjo's backpack. Banjo's backpack is the tool that's used to make these Banjo Kazooie mods. You must know that tool so well to do all this stuff, because I played around with Banjo Kazooie modding a fair bit. I made uh, a mod uh, Banjo Kazooie in Super Mario 64, and I ported like uh, some of the initial first four levels into Banjo Kazooie, and it was a lot of fun to do, but. I kind of wish I would have worked on it longer so I could have learned more uh, techniques for ROM hacking because right now, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing right now, I'd have no, I have no idea how Mark Kirkle even does it. Okay, there we go. Finally up there. Oh, there's actually a little launch pad up here. Probably for getting this Jinjo, I'm thinking. Alright, nice. That's actually really cool. Very clever programming here. Don't want to forget about this note over here. Six pack of notes over here. Oh no, we got a mumbo token in there too.
Alright, there's 25 more. Alright, see if I'm missing anything in here. Okay, there's a hundred percent of Jinjo in here, and I have no idea where it is. Where is this Jinjo? Oh, there he is. I think, uh... Okay. If I have to guess, I'm thinking there is a... Oh, yeah. A shock jump pad over here. Okay, there's two more Jinjos. I know where one is for sure. Oh. I know where both the Jinjos are now. Okay, sweet. Alright, so we get the Jinjo over here, plus there should be a Jiggy. And some more notes. Right, sweet. I do not like this camera angle, but oh, still do the jump even without looking. Oh, that's probably where uh, the Lost Woods thing leads us. Wait, looks like there's a treasure chest here. Oh yeah, with a mumbo token in it. Okay, actually, it seems like there's a hidden entrance here. Alright, sweet, so that gets us a Jiggy. Oh, so we can actually head over here, so that's the point of the shock jump pad over here. Alright, just three more Jiggies. Let's see uh, Brintilda's hints here and see if maybe that could help us. Two of the Kikiri shock jumps. This are hidden. One is buried under the leaves. Okay. Follow the pizza boxes to find an old friend. In the ancient tree is the key to the door in the lost woods. Oh wait. Maybe. Okay, yes, this is probably the area that I need to go to. There's ten more. Mumbo token here. Looks like, yeah, that's pretty much it for what's in the water. Alright, we'll hang on to this. Alright, sweet, another Jiggy. That one was really cool. And we got the European version of uh, Majora's Mask up there, which is very cool. I'm pretty sure that's the Power Region. Wait, what? Another Easter egg? We got someone peeking in on us here. It all looks like uh, James Bond to Goldeneye. Oh, it's pretty cool. A little bit creepy, to be honest. I guess there's a bunch of leaves in here. Oh yeah, here it is. All right, sweet. Yeah, that's a, one of the honeycombs up there. Well, uh, it says follow the pizza box. So that's like my other hint. Okay, let's have a look from the nose here. Oh wait, can I grab onto that? Oh yes I can, okay. A mumbo token. Oh 
Oh wow, so that's us. <laughs> I wonder if we can just do a, a jump from the pizza box to grab that. Oh yeah, we can. Oh wow, that's like almost invisible, it's like transparent. That's tricky. Alright, cool, got some notes up here. Alright, just seven more notes. Hopefully this takes us to the last seven. Alright, please be a sub area with five more notes. Like, that's all I really want right now. <laughs> Are you the pizza delivery guys? Uh, yeah, totally. Pay up. Let's see. You can have whatever's in the attic. I haven't been able to climb up that ladder in years anyways. Oh, so they got uh, an Xbox One with rare replay on the Banjo-Kazooie screen. That's pretty cool. Yeah, have all this pizza. Oh wow, Nab Nabnut's pretty fat. The Xbox One controller. There's Pete's all over the place. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we're good. You found all a hundred notes on the world. Well done. Alright, we got our eighth, ninth jiggy. But we're pretty much home free because we know how to get the tenth jiggy and then we can move on to the next level. And this is obviously a really good rendition of this song also. Right now it's time to head to the Lost Woods and to get our last jiggy of this world. this way. Yeah, we get the 10th Jiggy, which is very cool game design. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. Overall, very really cool first world. I'm really curious about how Hyrule Fields are going to be over here. Now we got a great rendition of the Hyrule Field theme. Let's hurry up, Banjo. Why? What's wrong? If I know anything about this place, there's an owl around here that'll talk to us for hours. <laughs> and that's the last thing I want. Alright, sweet. So we want to go to Grudel Forest, Lake Hylia, Kakariko, or Castle Town. Such a sick rendition of this song. Alright, this is gated off too. You have to find me before you can use this. I'll be waiting at the end of a deep grave. I wonder what that is. Alright, so Long Long Ranch looks like it's blocked off too. We're gonna have to go Lake Hylia? Lake Hylia looks like it's blocked off for 260 notes. Oh wow. <laughs> Alright, well at least now we know. I really don't know. Wait. Maybe we can climb up that uh, green thing over there. Let's try that. <laughs> really starting to run out of ideas here. Okay, sick. This might be it. Now 
Okay, there's just a one up over here, and then we should be able to break this door. Alright, nice. Making some progress. So we got. Oh! Alright, sweet. We can uh, complete this painting. Use the jiggies of time to unlock different areas of Hyrule. Check the numbers on the corners to see how many you need. We've got the jiggies, termite breath. I should hope so. Press A to use them and press B to leave. Press the down C button to get back the pieces you've used, but once the door's open, those pieces are stuck there for good. Alright, sweet. So we can... This is just such a good custom music. Castle Town. I wonder if there's going to be a Jiggy in here. I bet you there will be. Oh no, just a mumbo token. Ah! Mumbo tokens are useful too. Alright, let's check out uh, Castle Town. Hello, my friends. It is I, Ruby. I Can I be of assistance? Got a jiggy for sale, Snake Boy? I had one, but it's been stolen by that nasty gorilla gang. They fled to the trees in front of Hyrule Castle. Guess we'll have to go ask for it back. Yeah, ask. <laughs> it will not be easy to reach them. The trees are tall. These pots, the infamous pots. Okay, good thing that these aren't slanted. And yeah, Hyrule Castle's actually modeled this time, because usually in the original Ocarina of Time it was just a still image, which was pretty lame, to be honest. Alright, so that... Those are barriers, it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is the theme from Banjo-Tooie, if I'm not mistaken. Just cool that they put that in here. No, oh, I haven't played Banjo Tooie in so long. But like, once I replayed it, it's honestly gonna feel like a, a rank Banjo Kazooie ROM hack. Let's try uh, going down this well. See where it takes us. Oh. Oh wait, oh yeah, we can go down. Alright, nice. Got our first Jiggy of this world. Alright, 10% done the world for the notes. Okay, yeah, we do need the Talon Trot to get up here. Orange Jinjo. I'll head this way first. It's an oddly specific spot for a feather. Maybe there's a transformation in this level, that would make sense. Oh yeah, this is the way to castle. Usually the guards would be here, but... It's weird that we can't climb that tree, I guess it's just a little bit too big. Find another way to get through here. That sucks that tree's just a little bit too big to climb, or he probably just didn't make it climbable. Unless I gotta use the transformation to get by and like open the gate, maybe. That makes sense. See what's over here. We should have Temple of Time. <laughs> Another 
flower pot over here. Alright, let's see where this legendary place takes us. It should be the Temple of Time, but... I always wonder how Mark is gonna do this here. The Temple Time music in the background, which is, sounds like right on cue. Got the three spiritual stones, which are replaced with the gold feather. Uh, one up and another thing. I really don't see any notes or like anything here to like progress. You got this floor like looking perfect, looks shiny and reflective. He must have done some transparency to do that. That floor actually looks really good. It really doesn't look like we can do anything in here right now. I don't see a single note or a single thing that we can climb. But I guess the only way we can really go is... There 100% seems like there's going to be a transformation in here. Okay, that's that probably Mumbo's house right there. Because yeah, that house definitely looks like Mumbo's, so that's actually really cool. Right, we'll uh, get all the notes that we can before we go see Mumbo. Hopefully we have enough Mumbo tokens. I think we should, like we've been collecting a lot. I like how they retexture the bulls to look like the cows in Moo Moo Ranch. Not Moo Moo Ranch, Lon Lon Ranch. <laughs> Moo Moo Ranch. That'd be a... I guess if, that, if, it, if it was always called Moo Moo Ranch, it probably would seem normal, but just saying it just seems weird. We'll see what's up here. Alright, definitely something for her ability. Alright, I think it's time to see Mumbo. Guessing it's gonna be like a the pumpkin. Oh, this is sick. The curiosity shot music. Mumbo, what are you doing in Hyrule? Clock town bad investment. Mumbo. Castle Town have a stable future ahead of it. Right, so you're gonna transform us or what? It's not that simple, filthy buzzard. Mumbo need his magic tokens first, but they hid by which you find tokens, Mumbo helps. Bear and Ugly Vulture have found enough tokens now. Stand on pad and let Mumbo do his work. No, when I was a kid, I thought that, like, when you paid Mumbo, you'd have to pay those tokens every time he transformed you. So I'd be afraid to transform, like, more than once. Alright, let's see this transformation, see, see what we are. Oh, sick! That's a really cool retexture. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when you're ready. We're like a bomb bag. Mumbo call this the bomb bag. Bag empty now, but can't fill up it in bomb shop in market. What? Wow, cool. Let's go find that bomb shop. Kazooie. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Enjoy. Maybe there is no bomb shop. <laughs> right, if he programmed this to have bombs, that'd be crazy. But I'm assuming it's just a retexture of the pumpkin to be the bomb bag, which is still incredibly cool, but. If we can use bombs, I'm gonna be just blown away. Pun intended.
cool, got another Jiggy. Alright, so we can head through here, slip through this little crack. That's locked. See where this hole takes us. Hopefully, it, it'll take us to like another side where we can unlock a gate or something. All right, sweet. So now we're over here. No, I'm really impressed with how well this runs on console too, like... This is very, very good so far. Alright, there's the monkey. Mumble's magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Oh, I guess this is one way to do it. We'll just get rid of the magic and now we're on this side, so. Cool. I was wondering how we were going to get here, but yeah, that's definitely one way to do it. over here too. Oh, shoot. We should have should have kept it. Well, actually, I think we would have. I think we need to use Kazooie's eggs anyways. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. So we needed to use the eggs first anyways to get there, so I guess it's good that we transform back. Maybe we can kick this down now, maybe. Because we do have this hatch, so we'll see if maybe this will open the gate or something. Okay, sweet, we got a jiggy from that. Oh, those guys are like retextured into like Deku scrubs. Usually, you beat this monkey, you gotta make him throw his oranges on like the switches. See, uh, maybe he'll teach us the talent shot now. This move uses Beakle's wings as a shield against the bad guys. It makes us invulnerable, right? Sure it does. Hold Z and press the right C button to keep on the control stick and move around. Okay, cool. We finally got that move. Wow, there's a lot of the monkeys around. So I don't think we're supposed to beat them, I think they're just, uh... Just here for the aesthetics and to make this area a little bit more difficult. Because usually there'd be the guards here, which would make this area really difficult to traverse, but... They must have just thought the monkeys would kind of do the job in a sense. That's the first time there's been a little bit of noticeable slowdown on console, but with that many monkeys in the scene and that many trees in the background, that definitely makes sense. Alright, let's uh, plant this pot. Sweet. Very sick sound effect, too. Five jiggies in this world already. This world's really coming together fast. I 
I got like the um, uh, the race name for that. So we'll enter from over here. Oh, cool Zelda song, the original Zelda theme from the NES version. These DK barrels, which is really cool. This hack just keeps amazing me over and over again. Because Mark Kirko didn't make this music, he actually had a lot of people helping him with music in this hack, so I'll definitely leave their names in the description there, because they did an amazing job with the music in this hack, like, I was honestly just blown away by it. It's a kind of creepy retexture of those guys. Mark Kirkle's logo right there. Got the Kirkle Mods logo here. It's looking sharp. Let's see the proportion. So it's just gold out the side and gray in the middle, right? No confusing stuff. Guess we'll uh, see what's in the store here. Oh wow, we gotta go into the castle. That's actually really cool. This area was never in the original Ocarina of Time from my knowledge. We got pictures of... Oh yeah, Grat Kirko. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, like a bunch of the game designers here. Very cool. Very cool area right here. Got the Kirkle mod logo with the Rareware logo and definitely very castle like. We're at six notes already. Or six jiggies, I mean. Even just little things like the light coming through these windows and everything, like... Such an amazing job. Alright, and this is usually where you'd meet Zelda for the first time. Let's see if we'll meet her again. Oh, we got Brentilda here. So instead of Princess Zelda, we got Princess Brentilda, which is that a pretty clever. Okay, well, we'll read the hints. The castle dungeons hide a secret passage. Castle dungeons? Wouldn't it be fun to be king for a day? Sit in the throne and see. I've heard bomb bags can be used as keys. Now you're just making stuff up. Bomb bags can be used as keys. So wait, can we just jump through the key doors as when we're the when we're the bomb bag? Okay, so the secret area here. So 
see where this takes us. Oh, sick, we got the whole uh, Diddy Kong Racing uh, character selection screen here. That's super cool. Just such good ideas all over the place here. It's one thing to mod these levels, but it's another thing to put in all these Easter eggs. Like, this is just absolutely crazy. Live in a good timeline to live in a world with ROM hacks like these. Oh, Mumbo Toe, okay. Oh, and I almost missed that note somehow. Oh, I missed that mumble token somehow. Alright, wait, wait, yeah, we got notes in the water here. On oh, a blue Jinjo. I have to swim all the way back to get up, get over there. Nice, I got this mumbo token. Oh, will you just break that door? That actually really surprises me, kid. Kind of looks like what we just came from, but. up here. Whole nother area of like the castle. See what bottles. Maybe he'll finally teach us the Talon Trot. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle ste steep slopes. All right, that sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Bottles actually tells us that we can go like that, then B to go even further. I'm pretty sure that's a fake jiggy there. Alright, I already got. I wonder if this door will open. No. Just that, just that one specific door that we could open like that. Just 15 more notes, we're in close. I guess we needed to go that way first to learn the Talon Trot, so good thing that we did do it that way. Oh, just some humble token over here. Oh wait, and we got a game. 
We got Diddy Kong Racing, cool. Just gonna head up there somehow. Talon Trot, that cool rare flag right there. Then you land on here, then you do the talent trot. Well, that was a tough jiggy, but very cool though. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh yeah, there is a Jinjo there. Okay, just one more Jinjo. Let's, let's see what's down here. Grah. This wretched video game is impossible. <laughs> Jeez, getting mad at a game, really? Damn, game over again. Taking over Hyrule was easier than trying to beat this. I think we'd better steer clear of this guy. Jeez, oh, that's pretty great. Another group of some great music once again. <laughs> Creepy music too, like it's pretty eerie. Alright, see it's through this door. Nice, got some notes. And a mumbo token. What's this down here? Oh, we can climb on that pole in the Temple of Time. Okay, that's a good hint. Very good hint. Oh, that's a Ganon. Ganon's just right there <laughs> playing some Zelda. Oh, that's great. Alright, so let's go back to the Temple of Time. And we'll climb on that one special thing. Oh wait, we could have gone over here through this vine all along, okay, so we didn't have to use the magic. Okay, I guess you climb up in Ocarina of Time too, so I really should have known that, but whatever. It made us take, I think, almost a better route, but... I don't remember which post exactly he was climbing, but it was definitely... Alright, nice. Last Jinjo. Alright, just two more Jiggies. This level's coming together really nicely. Seven hundred sixty-five notes, and we can come back. Jeez, that's pretty cool that they have like levels within levels here. Alright, head back this way. Oh, 
Okay, sweet. So let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh, you've been regrolled. Wow, really regrolled? You can have at least fix something more modern. Ocarina of Time, old game. So mumble pick, old joke. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no bombs on this mod. Are I knew. I don't know. I had a feeling there would be bombs, but. That is so great. That is such a good troll. Rick Roll even got has the MIDI and everything. That is so great. Oh, this is definitely probably. I almost want to say right now the best mod I've ever played. But this is just amazing. Oh my. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. That's too good. Let's see what's in here. If I get recrolled again. <laughs> I got this theme. I swear this was in a by nine hack. Maybe they're sharing music. Wait, what? No way. We got the uh Key from Super Mario 64. Got all this Banjo Kazooie stuff. So it looks like this is like uh, a bunch of note doors to unlock certain things. So we're gonna be coming back here a lot. Oh, actually, no, I'll just transfer back. Magic run out. Oh, this is so sick. Pay attention since I'm only explaining this once. What is it? A trick to let us skip to the end of this num mod? No way, Turkey. There are three special secrets areas hidden in this game. Ooh, exciting. Where are they? If I told you, then they wouldn't be a secret. Now, would they? However, the pictures on the walls are clues to their whereabouts. Uh, what if we can't figure it out? Don't worry, I can compensate for your lack of deductive skills. You can unlock more clues with notes. Let's show them, Banjo. We'll find those hidden areas, clues or not. I'll give you one hint. None of the entrances to these areas are inside the game's worlds. Good luck. They're not inside the game's worlds. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll refill it up for you. Okay, that's so cool. So like, see these hints. Oh my God, three secret levels. Okay, first hint is two things of grass, two blue things. You probably have to ground pound near them. Second hint is bottles by. Uh, looks like. Oh, I can't even really tell what that is in the background. Third thing is X marks the spot. And a rat a tat tat. That's so cool that we unlock more hints like as we play along the game. Okay, cool. This hole should hopefully take us there. Yeah, alright. So we got both honeycomb pieces now. So now, what we're missing from this level is... Two jiggies, seven notes. Hopefully the last of the notes are over here. Oh sweet, we got a fairy fountain. One more note. Alright, that's very cool. Oh, it doesn't look like there's any, uh, any notes in here, sadly. I guess, uh, one of the hints was there's a secret passage in the underground area. So this is probably what they mean.
Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, yeah. So this is it. So yeah, this area here. Where are we at? This is weird. All right, that's those are the last notes there. I'm very nervous though because if I fall and I lose all my notes, like what? No, no, please don't die, 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 no. No. That is unfortunate. Wait, so. If I go this way, it takes me down here, which then takes me over here. Oh, okay, so this is the route I was supposed to take. It really seemed like I had to do like a leap of fate because it didn't seem like there'd be a way we could get back up, but I think this is going to take me to those other nodes up there. takes us. Alright, yeah, we can grab onto here. Okay, so that's how we get there. We don't do that stupid jump, but... I don't really think you can blame me for thinking that that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I just wish I didn't have... I just wish those weren't my last notes, you know, but... I'll just go back around and get them all. Like, it shouldn't take me that long. It's probably taking like 10 minutes. That mumbo token, I'll come back for that. I just. I want to get these notes first. There's one. There's one more note. Two. Okay, finally, we got all hundred notes. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I lost them all on that one chunk, but. Alright. Alright, so this next area that we should be going to should be Cockerico Village. And I actually played through Cockerico Village before, because this was one of the. Um, uh, demo levels that was available to download, so this one I shouldn't have too much of a problem with. Should be able to get this one over with probably pretty quick, because I, cause I played through that probably about a year and a half ago, and I think I remember a lot about it. So we're going to have to find where to go, though. Alright, we've got an arrow down here. Yeah, I took like a probably three week break since the last time I played this because I really wanted to get some daily uploads on my channel there. And uh, this video is obviously going to take me a long time to make so I took a little break but hopefully I can focus on this for a bit and be able to get this video up by like at least like maybe September 10th I'm open. I guess that's five days away and this is it's September 5th right now so it'll probably be around September 15th when I finally get this up. Just, yeah, playing through this entire game, then editing it together just takes a long time, obviously. This is a really cool little sub area here, and yeah. Let's go place the jiggies down. I only did four, so. Uh, 
And I just updated the version 2. So now I'm playing on version 1.2. And before I was playing on version 1.0. And 1.2, it actually fixes a fair bit of things. and makes a lot of the things a little bit easier. Some of the more unfair challenges. So uh, I'm really glad that I updated to 1.2. So if there's anything that looks different now, it's just because I updated the version. But... It's literally just bug fixes are like removing enemies, like it'll be like, remove three bees from this area because it felt cheap sort of thing, you know? Alright, Kakariko Village. It's cool that this is like a level itself, because usually this would just kind of be like a sub area, but... I see how well I remember this area from when I played it, <laughs> like, like a year and a half ago or two years ago. I'm sure he probably updated this area a fair bit also from when uh, he had the demo of this area. I'm already 10% there for the notes. Oh wow, I didn't even see that ad. He just blent in. <laughs> There's like a flower or something. Death Mountain. I find it so cool that there's like uh, levels within levels. <laughs> I like how there's even like smoke coming from the chimney, so details like that. We got uh, a pizza place billboard there, that's really cool. Let's see what it says. It says Kakariko Pizza. Bats, oils, grease. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. So little details like that just really make this mod something special. Yeah, we got Diddy Kong here, which is very cool. Let's admire the statue. There's so many like cool little touches like that throughout this hack. Oh yeah, so this area, we've got to come from the other way. Like, if this mod has backtracking, I mean, that's obviously all good, but I'd like to be able to just do these levels 100%, like, the first time I go into them. So that way I can have, like, timestamps, and this can be a little bit more, like, concise. Almost like a guide, in a sense, but... Oh, sweet. Some nice easy Jinjo. Or nice easy Jiggy, I mean. <laughs> that bowl, that's stationary, but still does damage. No, this room's really cool, though. We look around, we got, uh, we got Mario there playing, playing Donkey Kong Country. Looks like you have the scrolling s screen. Have, uh, some pictures from, like, Project Dream. We have like a path that we're supposed to take probably later on. Just, yeah, a bunch of bugs. Yeah, really cool custom area here. We got this house that's gonna be getting built here. For I forgot if this was originally in Ocarina of Time, if they have like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this must have been originally there, have this house being built. Pots open. Oh, this looks like a bunch of uh, bunch of health. 
Hopefully I don't die and lose my notes in this level. That's one thing I'm trying to be really uh, concerned about. Because that last level, that one jump was uh, pretty bad after we do that whole part again. But Especially because I'm playing on like actual console right now. So I can't save state or anything, you know. So let's go down the well. Alright, there we go. Finally got the okay camera. Mumbo token. And I'm thinking there's gonna be a jiggy up here. Looks like we got a hidden game here. Looks like a link to the past, I wanna say. Let's get a better look. Oh yeah, that is a link to the past. I'm pretty sure that is at least. No, the hidden games are really cool too. I'd like to like find them all, but at the same time, like there's no sort of in like game indicator if you found a game or not. So I'm sure I'll definitely be missing a fair bit through this run, but I'm gonna try to find the games though. Alright, sweet. Second Jiggy. Oh wait, there's a another route over here. If you go this way. Don't want to miss this. Oh yeah, I think this is going to take us all the way up into um, uh, another Jiggy up here. I should be able to get these. Oh yeah, get that. I know I could use my eggs to get these, but here this one I'll There we go. Oh, oh, just a Jinjo. Okay. I really thought there'd be a Jiggy in there, but... At least we got that Jinjo out of the way. That's probably one of the harder ones, I'm assuming. Got the graveyard over there, but I think we'll go there almost last. I kind of want to do everything else first. Right, we got this door. I remember this door opens from a switch. Jump over here. Alright, so we can break open that door. This is a really cool room. With this potion, I'll be taller than even the tree in Kakariko Village. Want to tell us something? Well, the key to Death Mountain is in the back room. Oh, that's cool. So, once we have 260 notes, which uh, we almost have 260 notes right now. Once we have 260, we should be able to open Death Mountain. That should be the next level. So, no, that's cool. So, we won't have to be searching around for the next level like we usually would be. We know exactly where it is. Let's see what's up here. Oh, nice. Got another Jinjo. And this ladder over here leads to something. I think there's a mumble transformation in here. Cause we had that like little opening over there. Unless you go over there somewhere else. And then we have climb up here. Oh, poor Jinjo, that's. Oh yeah, there's the Jinjo. Oh, we can just go down here. Oh, that's cool. 
You'll have to find me before you can use this. Oh, you don't even know how to fly yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, because there's a jiggy over there in that alcove. And I think we have to get onto that roof too, to be honest. Maybe there isn't a mumbo transformation in here. Alright, I guess it's time to move on to the graveyard portion. Alright, we got the graveyard area. Really cool music and everything. I like how it's like grunty gates too. Alright, that guy gone. Wait, is this a separate loading zone? Oh no, it isn't. Thought we could go into that hut. Well, that's kind of weird. Like, Banjo Kazooie disappears through this gate. Like, you just can't see him at all. I was so confused where I was there for a second, but the transparency on that has definitely some unique attributes. Alright, sweet bottles. Hopefully he teaches us how to fly here, or how to use the boots. Now you can use the running shoes. Alright, sweet. Yeah, we gotta do some stuff with the gravestones here. Right, and then we got, uh, let's go Triforce over here. Alright, they've got the running shoes, which, uh, I think we can break this down, yeah. So we, we use the running shoes to, uh... Alright, so we got the Jiggy. Alright, we've got a game here. We got Turok too. <laughs> Another Jinjo. Let's see the hints here. <laughs> Slam into the monkey coin to awaken the crocodile. Oh, okay. So we gotta slam into the Diddy Kong coin. Impa's house holds the secret to Dry Bones Valley. Impa's house, okay. Do you remember where Link learned the Sun Song? Maybe you can learn something there too. So one of these graves... Oh sweet, so we can just get rid of that completely. Down here. Well, this is really cool. This should teach me how to fly, yeah. 100% this will. The rising sun will eventually set a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. It's over, Banjo. There's nobody sane left in this game. Everyone's a critic, anyways. You'll have, to have you seen those pads in Hyrule? The ones with ocarinas on them? You got it. Those are sun song pads. If you stand on them and press A, you can swap from day to night or vice versa. Okay, smarty pants. Then what about that flight disc that just lit up? Oh yeah, you can use that too. Seems like this adventure is getting interesting. Good luck. Alright, so we can, uh, use the Sun Song now, which is really cool. Then we can fly up here. I think, uh, there's a spot in the ceiling we can fly through. Okay, yeah. Alright. 
Oh yeah, that's it. So we just fly up here. Oh sweet, we got uh, I think Sin and Punishment. I think that's that. I think that is that game. Sweet, another jiggy. I'm really interested to see what that song, Sun Song, does when we go back to Hyrule. Or Hyrule Field. Very, very cool, like, custom area there. Okay, cool. Nice secret honeycomb there. Okay, sweet. At least that one had flowers on it too, which was an indicator. And we got a dry bone skull there. A bunch of dry bones around. What's that? That looks like another. Oh no, it's just dry bone shell. Okay, I think that might be a bottomless pit. And uh, I really do not want to screw with a bottomless pit right now. There was a picture I remember that showed us the path, but uh, I'm gonna get that jiggy last once I have 100 notes and I feel safe. But I'll definitely remember this area. Because I hope there's not notes over there. What's this? Oh sweet, so that chest finally opens. I wonder what's gonna be in there, probably another loading zone. Oh, no, no Mumbo token in there. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I like how there's like stuff within levels, because usually in Banjo-Kazooie a level would just contain 10 jiggies, you know, two honeycomb pieces and 100 notes, but it's cool that within these levels there's other levels and other elements. Alright, so now let's go uh, back up, and we can use that flight pad, and it looks like we're in Pretty close to the end of this level here. Right, so there should be a jiggy in here. I remember in the demo, this jiggy was uh, caved off because uh, it caused the game to crash. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like that off that situation has obviously been fixed now. Should just have to hit this coin. Wait. Shoot, we don't have the beak buster. Oh, sweet, there's even a little flight pad on the roof here. Yeah, then that's how you get in. We don't, uh. Don't use a transformation or anything like that. Yeah, then we can see outside. Looks like we got a hidden game here. Oh, we got Banjo Tooie, that's cool. Alright, another Jiggy. these okay sweet we got a honeycomb switch here Use a flying ability to get up there. Oh, wait, what's way over there? 
Oh, sweet. This should teach me the Beak Buster, hopefully, and then we can hit that coin. Time for some aerial action with my devastating Beak Bomb attack. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your target carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. Just try not to crash into anything valuable. Or do it. It's up to you. Well, well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the, the moves in the, in the game. Okay, cool. Learned all the moves. Okay, cool that we learned that. I had a... Uh, for a second, I thought maybe we would have had to backtrack, but... Okay, I don't know how I missed that. Alright, so we got both of the honeycombs. Now we can hit this coin. Oh yeah, I can easily make it there in time. Alright, so we got the windmill. Oh, it's such a cool little remix to the windmill song. Definitely has that Banjo Kazooie vibe to it. Right, so we got the last, the last Jinjo. There's three more. Kind of thought like Banjo Tui vibe to it a little bit too. Sweet, there's a Jiggy over here. Hopefully there's just 10 Jiggies here, or 10 notes. This is the other side of there. Alright, I think uh, there's only really one more area left, and I just really hope I don't fall down and lose all my notes here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, and then. No, 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 no. Please, please. Okay, the game's nice. <laughs> I remember when I played the demo that made you lose all your notes, but... Okay, thank god. I re oh, okay. Mark Kirkle is a, is a nice man. Okay, cool. Got across. No, if I would have lost all my nodes there, that would have been, been pretty bad. Wait, why is that Mumbo token there again? Oh, I bet you it's uh, two separate loading zones, yeah. It's a, it's an illusion. That's why that token's there. Okay, sweet. Got all 100. No more worries. So now... Let's see if that last Jiggy is in the area to go to uh, Death Mountain, maybe. Okay, head over here. Alright, Death Mountain. Oh 
Oh sweet, we have the last Jiggy here too. Alright, so this level is 100% done now. This is really cool custom area too, like the back of the shop here. Oh, I just find it cool having uh, the loading zone to a... having the picture zone to a new level in a level. Alright, let's head to Death Mountain. Oh, really cool theme here. Here, let's uh, head here first. I think this is a level. It's gotta be. Yeah, okay. Alright, this area here. This looks like it's like the dungeon. Hopefully I can just backflip up there, yeah. Okay, just a heart. Oh, okay, I thought that was another loading zone there, it's kind of dark. Break that door. See it's under here. Okay, just a grate. But we can see that there's a jiggy down there. In another area. See what Wait, what? Alright, do we have a transformation then? It looks like if we do, then we could get, get in there. Try this door. Definitely like a pretty, pretty good like dungeon vibe here. <laughs> Alright, see what's in this chest. Probably just like a Jinjo, maybe? Oh no, just a gold feather. Let's see, it's over here. We've got another chest. Oh, this is gonna get a little bit confusing about like which areas I've been to and which ones I haven't. Like this seems like a pretty elaborate dungeon here. All right, so we got honeycomb. I wonder if this is like the main part of the level or if this is just like one side area. Oh, okay, so that leads. Back over here. And I'm pretty sure that's a fake Jiggy there. Yeah. Yeah, we need some sort of- oh no, wait, can we go through here? 
no, it needs some sort of transformation or something, or maybe we can break it from the other side. Oh, there's just so many doors in this dungeon. Alright, yeah, let's see. It's in here. Oh, wait, legit like nothing. <laughs> Okay, sweet. I'm kind of glad that there wasn't like a big elaborate path behind that door too. Because I was thinking like, <laughs> how big is this dungeon, but... Yeah, okay, so that was just... I just got lucky that that first door that I did was like the actual one with the... Kind of the main objective. Ginger walked up there, and then two doors on this side. Alright, well that's nothing, so... It looks like it's just, yeah, just really two doors. The other doors are just decoys. Alright, that is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be some huge, huge, like, dungeon. Alright, let's uh, read the hints for this level. You should go and check to see if King Dodongu is still alive. Remember the location of the Lone Red Feather. Falling lava hides many secrets. Okay. Remember the location of the Lone Red Feather. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just didn't hit it at the right spot. Okay, these here. Uh. All right. Takes me back to the start of the level. At least just takes you back to the start. I think that was one thing that the patches uh, changed. Like, if I was playing 1.0, that would have actually been lava and I would have been done. But I think in version, like, 1.1, they changed that to not be lava so that, like, it wouldn't be, like, cheap deaths if you fall through. Alright, try this again. Oh, okay, that's so hard to time. That is so... Okay, I'll come back to that area when I have more gold feathers, I guess. Oh, that's... It's just, you're in such a rush and you can't get the right angles and just jumping with the gold feathers. So, so weird. Really cool rendition of this theme, though. Like, really good music here. Alright, Jinjo's there. But yeah, we definitely have a transformation in this level. Oh sweet god. It's actually a really big level here. Oh, 
Okay, so... What do I did I do that? Oh, I guess it's kind of worth it, but yeah, I need the transformation to get that too. Is that it? Like, what's the purpose of that? Oh right, yeah, let's head over here, got another gold feather. And you can see what's on this side. Oh, yeah, these huts I should be able to ground pound. Alright, got some notes. Hopefully one has gold feathers. Alright, nice Jinjo. What game do we got here? We got... Oh, Battletoads, that's cool. Right, can we go in this chimney? Or no, we can't. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, sweet. Alright, that works. <laughs> Speedrunner was way. Alright, let's see what's in here. This level, I know, it's designed really uniquely compared to the rest of it. Like, it seems like there's there's just been so many paths to go down the entire time. Oh no, not another one of these. Oh no, I, oh, I hate those jumps. Those are just the worst. I don't really like how it's like mumble on the wall with all the Korons. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh yeah, there's Mumble's hut right there. Which, no, I'll visit Mumbo and just a sec. I just want to jump into that uh, Goron pot that's in the middle there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mumbo token in there. Alright, cool. We need... 15 tokens, so yeah, we're have much more than enough. Alright, yeah, let's do this. Tectile, useful spell. You can blend in with other tectites. Er, aren't they all red? Mumbo, pretty sure they 
colorblind. Maybe. <laughs> well, you can also climb steep slopes. All right, cool. Where the tech take? Nice backpack, and hey, you're not red. You're blue, traitor soldiers in the bunker protect the jiggy at all cost. Okay, we'll head in this one first. Yeah. Then we can go through here. No, oh, this is a really long passage here. <laughs> Takes us down here. We've got some notes and everything. Oh, yeah, this is like where the boss fight is, or would be. Alright, we can just climb, climb, climb up here. All right, nice. Kind of surprised that that's our first jiggy, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So now we can use him to get into that other area too. They need this guy like really useful for this level. Like you need him for a lot of stuff. That leads to this passage here. Yeah, which leads to that Jinjo. Alright, just two more Jinjo, so we're making pretty good progress on this stage here. I can't believe just how big that this level is. This level just seems so much bigger than like every other one. No, 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 okay, shoot. Alright. The mumbo token. I really do not like how much health that I have. Okay, I think, uh, oh. I kinda wanna transform back. Alright, cool. Transform back, cause there should be, a uh, Whatchamacallit, a honeycomb thing over there. Yes, okay, this is exactly what I need right now. Okay, cool. I feel a lot more safe now. Okay, cool, finally got him. This bridge is so tiny. Okay. I think I should be able to. Nice. And up here. Alright. Sweet. Got another jiggy. You just get that Jinjo. Cause wait. Wait, is this little hole? Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, behind. Okay, so that's how we get there. Oh, I should have seen that. Alright, sweet. So now that we're on this side. And 
And wait, oh! So it looks like something in here. Okay, sweet, another path. Alright, so we should be able to jump down and finally get into this cage to get this JV. Around this way. Yeah, and then yeah, we use this to go back. Alright, cool, finally. Because this area actually looks like it's showing like no banjo and kazooie. I, I think this is just an area for the ant. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I thought that, at first thought it was a different like loading zone or something. Oh, this is quite the maze here. Oh wait, sweet, got all the gingos. Got a game here. Donkey Kong Country 2. Alright, I think I pretty much uh, did everything I could in this area. So I got three gold feathers. If I do this properly, I'll get three more and the jiggy. One, two. Alright, let's go. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, because I need these five to get to that other area. I really wish I had save states right now, but I guess I'm just gonna kind of have to wing it. Alright, and I got enough hearts to just die to the lava on purpose. So I have to get this or else I might be totally screwed to 100% this level here. Alright, oh, it's so much pressure. If I don't make this jump, like, I might have totally screwed myself. God, I was so nervous there that I wouldn't make that. See, so yeah, see, so it's over here. All right, got this area here. So I got some more gold feathers just in case. I <laughs> like the way the lava looks here with like kind of like the fog. It's really cool. Alright, sweet, got another jiggy. Wait, what's this? We got... The ant should go where the feather was. Okay. This area looks pretty cool. Alright. 
Alright, sweet. What's over here? Wait, another Jiggy. Just three more and we're good. Alright, cool. Got that part done. Yeah, because I swear, this is where, like, the Lone Feather was. Okay, cool. We are in... Another area. Alright, 93 getting close. Alright, what's over here? Oh, okay, no, we need the tech type. Oh yeah, this area here, yeah. All right, sweet, another Jiggy. All right, well, let's just get that tech tile over there into that hole. And hopefully that will be where our last eight notes are. All right, let's see what's in here. Honeycomb. Oh, see, we got like a whole Metroid thing over here. That's really cool. That is sick. Alright, looks like it's just that honeycomb. Alright, so. I have an idea about where it could be. Because, uh. We go here. We have a look. Oh yeah, there's notes way over there, so wait. Could probably jump to that platform. Okay, so now we're up here. Oh yeah, nice. Jump there. There. Right, sweet. Please, just be four more notes. Oh no, I missed that one. Actually, I can probably climb back up. You gotta be kidding me, no. I'm gonna have to try that again, I guess. And that takes us here, which I'm thinking there probably is a jiggy here, yeah. Alright, cool. Now we're just missing one. And after we get those two notes, we're still missing another two notes, so... Definitely it's not even close to being home free yet. Please... Okay, nice. Got those two. Okay, I think, uh, maybe it's in that, uh, Tech Tyke area. Okay, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's 99. Oh, there's the map of this whole area. Okay. And then 99 and 100, yes! Finally.
And sweet! 100% of this level also. Heck yes. Okay, that one took me a while, like... I'm curious, so that one took me... Hour 23. That one took me... Hour 23. 52 minutes. Forty one minutes. Castle Town hour twenty six. Okay, so it took me about the same time as the Castle Town. Okay, there's one of them. Alright, let's just try this out. Alright, so then we turn it to night. Enemies are different and everything. Oh that's really cool. Different music. Alright, well now Long Long Ranch is open. This is like kind of a creepy place. Like a welcome sign from like Halloween. It's like, oh, it's a carnival. That's pretty cool. Alright, so probably we get the Jinjos. There will be a Jiggy in here. Alright, got these running shoes. Oh, yeah, purple tent over here. Alright, cool. Another Jiggy in here. It's a really cool little sub area. Like, I really like how they turn, like, Long Mon Ranch into, uh, like an arcade or not a, a carnival. Oh, Ganondorf, Guahaha. So the great Gruntilda's foes are a bear and a bird. How pitiful. Well, it's true in that, maybe. You are the one who lost to me. Dot dot dot. Grumble. Yeah, it's such a cool idea to make this into a carnival though, like, this is sick. What's this? Entrance, alright. Oh sweet, we got the uh, games corner theme. Alright, okay, we'll still have the Jinjo. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Okay, we can't walk past here, so... Alright, sweet. Got that jig- okay. Got that jig. That actually took me a long time. <laughs> Wait, is this like a jump paddle? Yeah, it is. Sweet, so you can actually like climb the coaster. Wait, running shoes? Oh, 
Okay, I see how that works. So we gotta take the left side, take the running shoes to jump over there to jump up the rest of the way. Okay, cool. Up this side. Okay, wait, what the heck? He's invisible. Alright, sweet. That's a really cool jiggy having to scale that coaster like that. Like, that is really cool how they did that. Alright, see the hints here. Ten jiggies are located in Hyrule. Seven are in this park. As for the other three, why not visit Bottles Museum and some get some hints? Two. I'm pretty sure I saw a Jinjo leaving the carnival. Okay, so not all the Jinjos are in the carnival. Three. Somewhere a map of Bottles Maze is hidden. It'll be difficult to read if you're playing on original hardware, though. Uh, the nostalgia of low resolution. Oh, we've got bottles here. What do I look like? A fairy? You said he didn't need help, so scram. Alright, well, what's this? Looks like. Oh, maze. There we go. Right, another jiggy. I'm just getting back, it's gonna be such a pain. Okay, yeah, I can climb this, it looks like. Oh yeah, we're getting really high up here. Yeah, well, we are just ridiculously high up. Alright, so we're gonna land in there. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge. Oh, so close. Oh wow. Alright, no. I gotta just commit and I can't. Finally. That took me so long to get, but no, that's a really clever jiggy though, like the fact that Mark like thought of that, that is really cool. I know that took me so many tries to finally land in there. Oh, it's just a Jinjo here. Okay, 
Okay, sweet. So let me get on this house. Oh, we got a decoy jiggy here. But yeah, we can get into yeah, get inside this house now though, finally. And we should have oh, okay, another Jinjo. Sweet, there's the last Jinjo, and then there's the seven from the carnival. Alright, sweet. So the other three Jiggies in uh, Hyrule, I think, are really hidden. Those are the ones that, like, are probably going to be almost impossible to find. Let's go back to Kokoriko Village and just uh, see what's in that chest, because I'm really curious about that. Alright, I'm really curious what's going to be in this chest. Well, what's this? We got... What level are we in, even? We're in Hyrule still. Death Mountain, Park Eagle Village, Castle Town. Okay, cool. This is just a faster way to get to these levels, it looks like. Oh, just an extra. Oh, that's really cool. So, uh. So, the next level is gonna be Zora's Domain. But this is just another way to access it, so we can access all the levels really easily. Okay, that's really cool. 450, 450. Let's go, alright, well next one will be Zora's, dom Zora's Domain. What happens when we go in there? Do we start up the beginning? Oh yeah, just start at the beginning. Another way. Okay, that is super cool. I just noticed I happened to... Miss this mumbo token here. Alright, so now let's find the next level's entrance here. And you see, I got a new webcam, so that's why I probably look a little bit differently starting now. Because, yeah, this playthrough is taking me a while. I've probably been going through this game for a month. I've been trying to play it for like three hours every week. Yeah, obviously, this is such a long game. Okay, sweet. One egg does the trick. Alright, let's see what's up here. Okay, nice. Got a mumbo token. Pretty hard mumbo token to get to.
A lot of bees in this area. <laughs> That's probably the entrance to Lake Hylia. We just have to find out how to open it. Oh no, uh. Yeah. Where did this? Oh, wait, just a mumbo token in here. I feel like I did this in the wrong order. <laughs> Feather was in there. Yeah, so I think I was supposed to open the level first, then head over there, but. Uh, yeah, I'll have to find that level entrance. Wait, what's this? Oh! So we can climb up here. Okay, sick. <laughs> Finally found it. Alright. How did you two get this far? You're so incompetent, it's bizarre. Okay, there we go. Now we go to Zora's Domain. And it's time to check out Zora's Domain. Which I'm really curious, like, how they're gonna fit all these uh, notes and jiggies in here, because... Oh man, the Zoro Domain uh, cover's really cool too. Sounds really good in the banjo because of the sound aesthetic. This one I remember, this area is pretty small. Unless it includes, like, uh, that area kind of behind uh, where King Zora is. And then we got this area up here. So yeah, that's where King Zora would normally be. I really like all like the scrolling uh, textures and like just how the water is running and everything. Like, okay, there we go. And it looks like we got a transformation that we're gonna be using here. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to blow this up so when we transform we'll be good. Alright, sweet. Oh, okay, so there's a honeycomb in there. So yeah, there will be mumbo around. I honestly kind of forget what's in this area, like even in Ocarina of Time. It's been so long since I've played Ocarina. Oh yeah, this area with the fish and everything. Got to the Wind Waker theme here. Okay, come on. So if Jabu the Fish is part of this level too, this is actually probably gonna be like, uh, a pretty big level there. Oh wow, they got a... Holy, this is crazy. It's like just the Easter egg room. Sonic box, Crash Bandicoot box, Super Mario Kart on a Super Nintendo. That texture is actually like really clear for like, um, uh, real Nintendo 64. Then we got, uh, banana from Mario Kart on top of that. Rhino boxes. Oh, this is a really cool custom area here. We got Boggy. <coughs> wow, Sniffle. Oh boy, what's wrong this time, Snowballs? My dad Boggy left a while ago and he still hasn't come back. I've been here all alone, Sob. Do you know where he could could have gone? Sniff, I think he said something about woods that were lost and some sort of hidden temple. Don't worry, Groggy. We'll search high and low for him. Won't we, Kazooie? 
Yeah, don't worry, we'll find him. Alive or otherwise. In this box, you got like the star, the feather, and the, the coin from uh, Mario World. Overall, this is such a cool area, and then you got like a Donkey Kong box with like golden bananas and everything, and the Mario hat. Okay, Lost Woods. So, entrance. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this on my phone here. So, there's a path to the Lost Woods that we haven't found yet? How are we supposed to get this Jinjo though? Because he's like netted off. Oh, sweet, you have this, uh, this switch. Oh, that switch opens that Lost Woods door. Oh, okay, that's cool. So that's what that diagram's for. And that's actually really cool. So then we can go back there. up on this tree. Oh nice, I have like these huts so we can break. That's actually really clever. already quarter way there for notes and no, I'm just so impressed by this hack. I've probably said this at least 20 times during this video already but just everything about this is just so cool. token up here. part of the tree here. <laughs> nice, I'm jiggy for that. Oh yeah, see it's over here.
Yeah, jeez, <laughs> those bees. Yeah, so... Got a Jiggy that spawns way over there, but we only have 10 seconds. Okay, we need the running shoes. Let's see what uh, she has to say here. Having trouble with the ice slide? Banjo, let go of the controller stick and you'll go right way. But beware of the snowman. Okay. <laughs> I think Boggy was trying to find the entrance to your next destination. Your favorite blue item will be very handy in this level. Ooh, you poor dears, your energy's low. Oh, this is the same area we were just in. Oh, okay, that all makes sense now. Oh wait, we got a hidden game here too. We got... Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo. That's cool. Okay, so we got Ginge over here that we're gonna need uh, the Mumbo transformation to get. notes in here. So it just kind of just seem like they're in random spots down here. There's even a ginger over here. Does not look good. Oh, nice, I got this DK sixty four music. Oh, that's so cool. I have a feeling that's gonna like damage me. I'm gonna come back to this area once I have like at least a little bit more health. There we go, got my health back up. Okay, health's full. Alright, what's uh, Donkey Kong playing here? He's playing ukulele. That's really cool. Okay. On the first crocodile. All right, this is actually really cool. Find my friends on levels two, three, and four. Remember, you can aim better with the top C button. Purple bat. Who you're calling a bat? You pea-brained the Neanderthal. Oh, there's two doors each for these. Oh, okay. I'm 
There we go, falling there. Alright, now on to the three. Alright, sweet. First try. Oh wow, I can't believe I got that one first try too. <laughs> There we go. Cool. That was actually a really, really, really cool challenge there. Alright, sweet. Okay, sweet. Finally got that jiggy out of the way. Oh wait, what what is this over here? Oh, just bees. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can my eggs destroy this underwater? Okay, cool. Got a jiggy, and we can get another. It's part. Don't know. How am I supposed to get this bird? Okay, that's how. Okay, cool. Let's see, that is a pretty big pain, though. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. No. Oh. Nice, I finally got that. That took forever. Alright, now we got this egg here. Should be able to hatch. So far, that was probably the most frustrating hack. Most frustrating part of this entire hack. <laughs> Getting past those birds. And honestly, since I'm playing on actual console, I think it makes it a lot harder because there's a lot more lag. I think that part is a lot easier on emulators, so I'm so glad I got that past that part. <laughs> okay, fine, we got that jiggy. Alright, sweet. Mumble token. Bye. Uh -huh. 
there okay all right now these notes are so tricky to get it looks like wait how Missed that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a honeycomb there, and then there's two notes that I missed. takes us back. Alright, this is a really cool little area here. Oh, didn't let me jump there. Alright, well now I can go to the left side and get that mumbo token. There we go. Token. This rock maybe Oh wow, okay that's it, cool. So now I wonder what's gonna be in here. notes here so oh we got the mumbo uh, mumbo ship that's pretty cool I mean, we already got like a lot of notes so down here. Looks like Donkey Kong 64. Oh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Okay, sweet. Alright, so we need 15 tokens, so we got 18, so... Transform. Oh, nice. We're uh, an alligator. Mumble call this baby Dodongo. Press B to bite some enemies. It can also spit fire. Go on. Only if you are in lava. No. <laughs> Cool, we can do all this stuff with the alligator now. 
Or Dongo, I should say. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a bit of a maze. Okay. So we have to walk into that and sacrifice health almost. Jiggy, just three more for this level. Alright, sweet, just four more notes, and I think I know where they are, so it's looking good. Alright, cool, I'll both honeycombs for this level. Oh, okay, wait, there we go. We got one under there. Just two more gingos. There's a Jinjo in here. Oh wait, perfect. Got all 100 notes. So I do not have to worry about dying anymore. Or as much, but... Alright, now he's got all the Jinjos. Yeah, I got all 100 notes all Jinjo, so if I die, it'll be fine. Okay, Mumbo token in there. I forgot the crocodile can use that. Got another Mumbo token. Feather. All right, another jiggy. So if we look over here, it says Banjo press A when he's on the controller, so controller here we press a oh, okay sweet <laughs> we're just in super mario kart this is sick that's so cool that he just imported this custom track in like this oh this is like a really tight timer here all right
Alright, nice. Zora's domain is done. Alright, so now let's just check out that Lost Woods thing that we found. Right. Left. Right. Left. And then we can go up left. And then left again. Oh wow, <laughs> these guys are kind of scary. Stump over here. I got this huge guy here. All right, so this forest temple is probably the next level here that we're going to be going to. Oh, at least I can just, uh, go over top for, to get out. Wait, no, what's in here? Lost Woods, Kakiri Forest. Okay, so sweet. So now this should be for the forest temple. So yeah, we'll be able to go to the forest temple now. Alright, sweet. Alright, so now let's head to the forest temple. I'm gonna do a little shortcut here. So we need 882. Oh, it looks like we got a little gift over here. For getting so many notes. Oh, it's just a trophy. I really like this floor too how it moves. It kind of reminds me of the Astral Observatory from Majora's Mask. So Lake Hylia is next. We have enough notes, so we could go to that level right now if we unlock it, but... Uh, or just go to the Forest Temple now that it's open. I, know, I find it so cool that they have this like little hub area too. Like The fact that Mark added this is honestly so impressive. Alright, I'm really curious about this forest temple though, to be honest. Alright, I got the forest temple music like right on point here. No, I just remember uh, playing through the forest temple on Ocarina of Time Master's Quest and just getting so frustrated with it. Let's see what's up. Over here first, I guess. Okay, sweet, we got Jinjo up here. Okay, okay I'm, I don't know what that means, but that might come in handy later. Couple notes on top of here. Got a hidden game over here also. Got Super Mario 64, classic game there. Oh, 
It's weird. Since I started this playthrough, All Stars wasn't even announced yet, and now All Stars out, and I'm still playing through this game. All right, let's see what's in here. All the pictures are replaced with different, uh, different pictures and everything. Usually, oh nice, I got a thing of Majora in the middle there now. Usually that would be that hourglass thing that would uh, bring you up and down, I think. Oh, so we got Cheeto here. Is this going to be like a functional Cheeto? Welcome visitors. Oh, hello Cheeto, what's the deal with this place? Nothing is as it seems in this haunted temple. This is the most complex level in the entire game. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> I recommend using paper and pencil to write down clues and hidden here. I hate writing. And I'll have to learn an ancient language to translate the secret message you'll see. God, that sounds so tedious. Many of the temple's pictures contains clues to mysterious mortal. Normally wouldn't understand a camera. Might be useful. This isn't Pokemon Stop You Dusty. Come on, Kazooie, this could be fun. We've never tried a level like this. Arc fine, but you can at least give us a clue to start with oh mighty information desk attendant. You may have one clue. Take a look at the picture above me. You can start there. Paper, pencil, camera. Okay, we're ready. Tourist info. Oh, the picture that's above him. Okay. I'm taking a picture of that. So it seems like that one, uh... Torch has a special property to it or something. I take a picture of this too. Let's see what's in here. No, it's been so long since I played Ocarina of Time, I really do not know how this uh, forest temple even really works. Okay, so we got a room with a bunch of uh, different rooms in it. Let's go to the duck hunt dog room. Oh, so there, you probably have to solve like the puzzle so we know which uh, room to go in first. Oh wow, this is such a trippy room. Like, I have... So I'll have to go through it like this. It's weird that like... Are we in water now? Yeah, this is so weird. It's like we're walking in water or something. Take a picture of this just in case it's important. Alright, so we got. a picture which is a lie. It's just weird that this is a level, it just seems so much like a dungeon. Because I guess it obviously isn't based off a dungeon, but... Oh wait, what? <laughs> it's kind of cool, we got Lago and Grunty playing chess, chess here. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's pretty much just saying what these letters are. So it's saying that W is that letter. And then we just have to translate the message once we have most of the letters. So I think I understand how this works. Oh, 
Okay, so we enter the water from this direction. What well, really cool area so far? Like I find it so cool how the water works like that. Yeah, and then this is uh, yeah, it looks like Skyward Sword. Not a 64 game, but <laughs> new game nonetheless. Oh, so there's a Jinjo over there also. Okay, so to get over there, we probably have to <laughs> go over top here. Now, it's pretty cool that this room is like flipped on its side here like this. Like, Mark did a really good job getting this to work well. Alright, nine tokens. I don't think there's going to be a transformation in this level. You never know, though. Alright, now we have another twisting hallway here. No, these twisting hallways are so cool. I always really liked them in Ocarina of Time, and I guess they used that at the start of Majora's Mask also. Oh, yes, this is just regular water. Well, this actually goes quite deep. Oh, it looks like it leads to, like, another area, so... I'll uh, try that out in a bit, see where this takes us. After I'm done with this room. Alright, another letter. I got all these. Alright, nice. Got 10 tokens, so if we need to transform, I'll be good. Alright. Let's to this other area and I'll see, see where it takes us. Oh, this kind of reminds you of the Mad Monster Mansion area a little bit. Right, another letter. Oh, nice. So that's how we get a hub. Alright, sweet. And it looks like this is the message we gotta decrypt here. Or one of the messages. Really cool, like, custom uh, cards here with, like, Link and, uh... Oh, so we gotta... Hit these cards in the right order also. Alright, I need to come back when I got a little bit more letters, I guess. Well, a really cool puzzle aspect, though, like... Oh, yeah, that's another message there. Oh, wait, oh, okay, so just a feather in there. Wait, queen. Wait, every one of these has a... Hard inside. Okay, it's just there's like a jiggy over there or something. Okay, so first, we got Queen, Queen Jack, Queen. Those queens. I don't know how I missed that before, but. <laughs> okay, so I took a picture of those tiles, and it, that might be the correct order I'm supposed to. So it goes Donkey Kong. Mario.
Link. Kirby. Oh, sweet. So we found a secret. Oh, go. Okay, this is honestly so sick with all these secrets. Like, I don't know how they made Banjo Kazooie into like a puzzle dungeon game, but somehow Mark Kirko did it. Like, this is very, very cool. Alright, so you got the Jinjo in here. Well, it's weird that eggs are like a lot more important in this hack than feathers. There's not many areas that actually allow you to fly in this. Oh, sweet, we got the Eagle Dungeon here. This is awesome. All right, so we got that Honeycomb now. It's really cool that they got like this top-down perspective also. And they just got the textures and everything like perfectly to and just the way that they got the camera like this is really cool too. It's so cool doing this in like a 3D perspective. Such a real, this is such a cool custom area though. <laughs> Alright, sweet, we got uh, Grantilda here with some secrets. The two blue flowers in the little forest outside this dungeon hide a link to the past. Hit Mark Kirkle in the face with a beak bomb. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Ignore the no entry sign on the door. Find another way in. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we need like a key or something to get in there. Alright, we actually have like water there, which is really cool. This is such a cool little sub area here. We got the honeycomb here and everything. Oh yeah, 
I'll just head out of here. I think I got everything there. So, if you look at this picture... Like, it shows that there's a shock pad there. But, uh, there isn't a shock pad there, so maybe if we try to... There's, like, a shock pad where it is. I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Okay, cool. So now we can get up here and enter this area, finally. Wait, and it shows that... Uh, oh, there's a hidden flight pad there. Okay, I'm gonna use that flight pad. And then we know the hint that if we beat bomb Mark Kirko, something good will happen, so we'll try that now also. Was it here? Sure, I should check a picture. I think it was here. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm not sure what exactly that did. We broke something. Oh, we got a game here. Gonna check this out. We got... Oh! Um, a Spirit Tracks. Okay, cool. So, we broke open that little part. So now we can get this Jiggy. Sweet! First Jiggy! <laughs> Alright, this has been quite the puzzle so far. Alright, yeah, we got another letter. Okay, R. I have more of that uh, texture there to show us the right order of the doors. I like how they even have like, that grass texture there and everything. Like, just the attention to detail in this hack is just honestly so incredible. Nope! Okay, so it seems like there's like, going to be a secret path there also. Have I not gone through this door yet? Got this cool rendition of this song again. Jeez, <laughs> And oh, nice! We got uh, Twilight Princess. Okay, yeah, that's a hint that we already know about how to get that jiggy. Right, another hint here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Another game, which is All Donkey Kong Country Returns. And we 
got a whole banjo kazooie grunty's revenge on the game boy advance and what else is here yeah it's just the game the game and the game boy wait what I lost all my notes there. I shouldn't have. I did not see my uh, water in that low. Shoot. Oh, there's a jiggy up there, so. Oh, so now. If. Okay, so if I just touch the top, this actually turns into a tank. And we can actually collect this jiggy. Okay, cool. Alright, sweet. Alright, so two jiggies. Okay, the two blue f flowers hide the link to the past, so... Okay, sweet. So yeah, there's a secret tunnel here. All right, nice. Nice secret area here. All right, 15 mumbo tokens again. They really gotta be careful of the water situation here. Okay, so I saw a picture, I think there's a couple secret vines over here. Yeah, there should be a vine like here, yeah. And then one right here, yeah. So that leads over here. Alright, sweet, another jiggy and another letter. And this one's a vowel too, so. Right, there we go. Pass my note score. Oh, nice! Final Jinjo. Set to ignore the no entry sign. I don't know how we're going to ignore it though and get through, so I'll leave that for now. Alright, a T. Get all the good letters now. Alright, yeah, this T is going to be super important. So, what's this message? Another letter. Oh, I gotta be really careful with these letters, though. Like, hey. Okay, L. I don't think that L helps that puzzle. I'll well, get rid of these bees with uh, this move. There we go. Alright, 
X is just a square. I doubt we'll even need the X, but might as well write it down. Alright, what's this message? <laughs> this is just totally just a separate area here. Decoy Jiggy. Alright, we got G. Really cool area over here. It's really neat. Uh, Should be able to break this window, I think. Oh, we got the wishy washer banjo over here. Alright, S. Alright, see what's in this area. Come on, guys, didn't you see no entry sign on the door? Well, there wasn't a sign on the window, and that was their fish breath. Ugh. Why are you here? A jiggy clues? We'll take what we can get. Take a look at the right computer monitor for a clue, and I'm pretty sure there's a jiggy in here somewhere. Thanks, Boggy, by the way. Your son's been looking for you. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back to him eventually. And the Father of the Year award goes to... <laughs> Such clever writing. Foo Fighters poster and a really nice custom song here. I like how there's uh, music coming out of the stereo and everything. Okay. So that's the clue. There's a hidden, uh, hidden passageway over there. Alright, and there's the Jiggy, sweet. This level's actually really coming together well now. Okay, I thought the game froze there for a second, but it was just the camera, thank god. Could have been disastrous. What's that under there? We got, uh, oh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Why are so close? Please, yes, a hundred notes. No more anxiety about uh, losing all the notes. That's such a good feeling. Alright, so now... Got that hint. Okay, so I have to decode that message over there. Which pieces do which pieces pick first? All right, I gotta check out their chess game to figure out this puzzle. Shit! Yeah, so just go right through there. You can bypass where that key is. Mumble token. What's this big bowl? That's supposed to be the boss, I guess. And what? 
you'd think that there'd be a Jiggy here. Oh, wait. I think I messed something up now that I think of it, because... I died and I skipped a part, so... Let's try something. Yeah, there's this honeycomb switch over here. Okay, there we go. So that's like where the collectible is. I was so confused for a second. Alright, sweet. We'll get the other honeycomb on this course also. Alright, sweet. Another honeycomb. Three. Oh, this is the message order probably, so... It goes with one. Okay. So... I'm not sure if that's what that clue was supposed to say, but... It just made sense. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this is like kind of reminds me of the Pit of a Thousand Trials a little bit. Okay, stage two. down over here. Yes, yeah, so this really is like the bit of a hundred trials. Exit that we could take, but there we go. that we could take if we want, but we're obviously going to keep going. I wonder how far this is going to be. I wonder if it actually is like a hundred trials. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the Ganon fight area over here, finally. Oh nice, so it actually is a fight. It's the big box. 
I really do not have the supplies I need to do this right now, sadly. Actually, this isn't too bad. have yet M. Oh, E? Alright, there's E. Alright, there's H. Okay, that's actually going to be really helpful. There's O. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it shows that we got like the golden eye guy playing this game. That's really cool. Or no, why? Alright, and then we got V. So the only letter that we're missing now is Q, so we can pretty much decode any message, so we should be good to find out the rest of the secrets in the game. Yeah, touch this room ceiling, which I've already done. Just have a chance, so that's that decoded and this says one two three four e. oh yeah this just says dive all right now this one says um yeah take a look behind the pictures on the stairs okay so i ha have done that so i know which cards to choose so we gotta go a i think it's just one Two and Okay, there we go. That's it. Really, really cool puzzles in this one. Okay, we just need two more. Alright, take a look at the white pieces. Alright, so take a look at the white pieces. So, 1C, and then we're gonna go to 4. Okay, and then 5, third black one in. Okay, and then that white one there. Okay, now it's for the black pieces. We're gonna go this piece here, the next one, this white over here, and then. Two up the white. Okay. And then there's one over here. Alright, nice. That was actually really difficult, but really cool jiggy. Like, such a clever design to have a puzzle like that in a ROM hack, like, honestly. This message is only a joke. Oh, okay. And then, like, XD. Okay. We got uh, Twilight Princess for the GameCube. Alright, so... I tap tap not here, so I really don't get it. Maybe... I don't know, maybe it has to do with, uh... The uh, picture? You could try to tap the picture? I don't know, I'll try that out. Oh wow, that actually worked. <laughs> okay, sick. And yeah, we got the 10th Jiggy here. Heck yes. 
Alright, that is sick. This is honestly such a cool dungeon, like, in a temple, like, Mark Rickle really, like, uh, did an amazing job making this one. Oh, and there's Q with the last letter, which, uh, we don't really need. <laughs> I don't think it was ever used. Alright, really cool. This was such a fun stage. Now let's head to the next stage. That forest temple level was just insane with the, the custom lettering and the uh, whole puzzle aspect to it. I just cannot imagine how like how long Mark worked on this for, like honestly. This must have took him just thousands upon thousands of hours to do. Alright, well I went to the Lake Hylia thing by mistake last time, so I know how to get there. Or at least how to open the level. So we turn it to night, and we go over here. <laughs> and yeah, we can put our notes, we can put our jiggies down. Right, cool, it's just out on the map there, so it'll be pretty easy to get to. So, the thing I'm curious about is if we're gonna have to do the water temple in here. <laughs> I hope not. If Mark left the water temple out, I'm completely okay with that. I am not gonna complain, but... Because, I don't know, they're, this area is pretty small, so he probably still included the water temple, I'm thinking. One thing about ROM hacks about Banjo Kazooie is I'm learning a lot about this game in various ways. Like, for instance, I never knew that you could defeat those uh, vine things with three eggs, and even like defeating the bees in uh, the previous levels. Like, you can use two gold feathers to just defeat bees, which I never knew. Let's see what's in here. I like how uh, all that stuff is caged off there. nice waterfall. I just like how nice everything looks in this model. Like the waterfalls work and everything and uh, just the way Mark set everything up here is just so cool. I really like the music on this stage too. Is that the Striforce? <laughs> we got Brentilda here. Lure away the lake's crabs and steal their jiggy. Okay. A shock jump disc is all tied up in the laboratory. Why don't you go and break Goddess Hylia's heart? Gosh, that's awful. Ooh. You poor dears, your energy is low, let me fill it up for you. <laughs> I head up here. I like this right here, all with these platforms just in the air like this. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't even get rid of all the bees, no. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get rid of all these bees to go over there. I'm gonna need to use like another gold feather. And I'll come back, because if I try to shoot the eggs there, the... The bees are just gonna start pestering me. But yeah, I think I saw that shock this tied up. I saw like a little green thing under here. Okay, sweet. What does this do? Oh, nice. So it lets us go to the next uh, world. <laughs> okay, so that's very important that we found that, I guess, or else. Nice, our first jiggy. Oh, we got a secret room here. Oh, nice, we have Fox playing Mario Galaxy. That's so cool that, like, he also puts the effort to do these things like this. I like Jet Force Gemini. Very cool, so now we're on top. Okay, sweet. We got this, which is honestly going to be really important. Alright, nice. We have Jinjo down there. Oh, we got a Easter egg of a character just looking over the mountain there. Yeah, let's uh, just approach it from this direction, I guess. It's really clever to have all these uh, buildings up in the sky to make use of the space like this also. Alright, what does the switch do? Okay, sweet, we entered. Or we opened the water temple, it looks like. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Very nice, so secret mumbo token there. Uh, Alright, probably a jiggy in here and play again. Nice. Alright, sweet. <laughs> Two jiggies already. This level's actually going really smooth so far. I honestly had a lot of trouble with the last two levels. Like, they both took me, like, around three hours to beat. So I think this one... I don't want to jinx it, but I think this one should probably only take me, like, around an hour to beat, I'm hoping.
It's usually where the fishing range would be. Or a place where you fish. I'm not sure if it's called a fishing range or... Boo hoo hoo. Right, he's gone and filled me all fishing hole full of muck and grime. Can we help Captain Blubber? Not much you can do, but if you find anything while cleaning it, be ours. Oh, yes, it's probably a jiggy in the middle. There we go, halfway done the notes for this level already. Oh wow, that actually worked. Okay, cool. So now, get the jiggy. I think there's gonna be a jiggy there, I'm assuming so. Alright, nice. Oh, a secret game here. We got... Oh, Paper Mario for the 64. Is that... Okay, cool, that actually worked. I'll just mumble token, but... I got an unless. I guess that's how we get those chests underwater. We just use those eggs, but... I only have four eggs left. I gotta be a little bit more conservative here. Yeah, before we enter the water temple, I just want to swim around just a little bit. Kind of get a fill for this area. Okay, yeah, there's the jiggy right there, guarded by that crab. Okay, sweet. Okay. Oh no, get up. Get up, no! Okay, cool. Thought I might be stuck there for a second. Oh, we do have some notes over here. sucks, so I'm gonna have to get all the notes again. <laughs> all those crabs, though. Alright, then we got that game there, which you can't really tell what it is. I just... Dropping down there is a little bit too risky. Actually, I'll do it. So we got... Oh, Metroid, uh, Metroid Fusion. Alright, pretty much back where I was for notes. What's this? Oh, we got Turok. <laughs> oh, stupid crabs. I hate how they just move from where they're at. Alright, I don't think they followed me, but let's get these notes this time. And we, we'll beat our neat we'll beat our notes score if we actually collect these this time. There we go. I don't honestly didn't take that long to get our notes back. Alright, yeah, I guess it's time to head to this temple. Oh, 
I wonder if we're gonna be adjusting the water in here. At least Banjo Kazooie controls good underwater on like a lane click. So that's a plus. be some air at the top of here. Okay, cool. I like this picture. Sweet, so now that door opens, and that door. Oh, and this door opened too. Okay, cool. We opened like all the doors with that switch. Sweet, and then yeah, I made it past this part. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to press that switch soon to like raise all these things up. Yeah, I guess not make it there till that switch is pressed. Oh, so this is oh, we can just open that. Okay, cool. I really thought we would have either press a switch or something, but. Oh wow. Uh. Her her. Goma is boss of Water Temple. Hang on, I thought you were supposed to be the boss in the Deku Tree. And aren't you just that ugly hermit crab with a paint job? Or our say what you want, but we we'll never hit Goma. Okay, so we need to raise that up for us to be able to hit him. It's down here, I guess. Probably get more health down here or something.
Okay. Alright, nice. Got another jiggy. And since there's a jump pad there, we're probably gonna be able to drain the water, I'm thinking. Okay, cool, got that. I was really concerned that that crap was gonna attack me multiple times. Okay, I cannot look at that game or else I might die. Just caught him. Alright, nice. Got the switch. Okay, I didn't go through the tunnel with uh, the Mark Kirko N on it, so I'll, I'll try that. Yeah, I did not go through this tunnel. water. Wait, is this it? Yes, all hundred nodes. We're set. Okay, this level actually has been a pretty, I don't want to say easy, because it's definitely not easy, but it's been uh, not as frustrating as some of the other levels. There we go, we got a jiggy here. So that's uh, so it's over here. Oh, nice, the other honeycomb. Oh no. Oh wait, well thank God we got the hundred notes there. I didn't think that'd be a death bit. But shoot, we didn't uh, bring in all the the gingos, but it's not that bad. Alright, see so it's in here. Looks like it's an exit with because of the light, but Oh, we got the shadow uh dark link room. That's actually really cool. I totally forgot that this was in this temple. And this is a really cool reskin for these guys also. Yeah, that is very, very cool. There we go. It's actually a little bit, that was actually kind of difficult there. I wonder if we go inside a shell like usual. No, okay. Two jiggies left. One has to do with the Jinjo jiggy. There we go. Okay, sweet. All we need is just that orange Jinjo. Okay, cool. So we can break that. Does some mumbo token break this? Yeah, sweet. Gets us our last Jinjo. Right, cool. We're set. We're caught. <laughs> This was a really fun level to go through. Alright, next up is Gerudo Desert. Oh, we got another game here. Mario Kart uh, DS. 
Okay, cool. So we climb the ladder here. I got another mumbo token. Should be uh that's really cool. <laughs> Alright, the Grudel Desert is now Grudel Fortress is now open. I love this theme and the Banjo Kazooie sound aesthetic too, it sounds so good. Like, kill these bees. How are these bees not dying? Yeah, this, this is probably a really good secret if we had to like use that many gold feathers. We also stacked a lot of bees on top of each other. Oh, just, just mumble. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of that. Okay, it looks like it's just a picture of that house, but... And that house is holding a secret. I just love this theme too, like... So good. Alright, so Gerudo Fortress here. I like how we have to take like this alternate path to get there. Probably so just a mumbo token up here. like an old Game Boy in the ground. And it's please Tetris when you're nearby. That is sick. Oh, I guess I don't need any more feathers. It's gonna be a separate loading zone? Oh no, this Jinjo's chilling here. It's over here. Their loading zone. <laughs> this seems like gets upbeat when you get over here. Oh, I absolutely love this rendition of this theme. Okay, so it looks like there are going to be transformations and everything. Now, uh, these are a lot of separate loading zones here. Oh, 
okay, so this is just a secret game again. Another Metroid. So it seems like these two areas kind of like transition seamlessly in a sense. Okay, so these just bring me to different spots. You think I got most of the notes in this area? Yeah, this has to be pretty much everything that this has to offer. Series changes a lot. Usually, you have to find like a hidden path. <laughs> oh, I hate all the bees. <laughs> So there's probably a Jiggy hidden there. I'm not even going to go for that right now with all the bees and everything, so... Something I'll keep in mind. Jiggy? Oh no, just Mumbo Token. <laughs> this kind of is, reminds me of the song Drug Ballad. It's like an Eminem song. It kind of has a similar beat. Oh, okay. I absolutely hate these bees. Okay. There we go. But look how long it took me to get rid of those, like, and how many feathers that it took. I'm only gonna be concerned about the bees that kinda tie to notes, cause I wanna get 100 notes here, and then... If the bees kill me after I have 100 notes, I won't care, but... The bees get me. When I'm going for the 100 notes, that's gonna be very frustrating. Games we got here. Oh, Banjo Pilot for Game Boy Advance. Let's yeah, check out the temple. Hmm. 
Alright, yeah, so there's definitely going to be a transformation in this level. Alright, let's see what Ben Tilda has to say here. One, a green tent in Grudel Valley hides a clue. Two, the ancient forest temple language could help you out in this dungeon. Okay. So I still have that piece of paper with all the letters. The best way to best the buzzing bees is by willing the wonderful Wonderwing. Okay, I knew that, but... Come on, say it's gonna be a little fresh because I'm gonna need a lot of these Wonderwings to get rid of all those bees. Yeah, so what's over here? Come one, come all, to Guani's fabulous shooting gallery. Get on that carpet and shoot down those targets. And the prizes. It's actually really cool how that they made that carpet work like that. There we go. There we go. Alright, nice. Jiggy of this course. This is another just really cool area here. We got Super Mario Kart. Yeah, Super Mario Kart. Here we go, this area has some more notes and a lot more things to do. I already halfway, which is good. Go on two and three. See what's in here. Hopefully, I could jiggy or something. Oh, some more notes. It's another path. I'm 
I just got like this little cave area here. Okay, nice, another jiggy. Alright, so transformation is going to be used in here too. Something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to check out that green tent again because there should be something in there. Oh, Majora's Mask for the 3DS. And a 3DS to play it on. Oh wait, what? So it looks like if we pound that and block something happens. So here, let's go back to this area. Because if I drop down with a Wonder Wing, I think I'll be able to get it. Okay, sweet! Oh, there was a Jiggy there and everything, right? Awesome. Okay, fine. That was really bugging me about how I was gonna get that. Okay, so yeah, so that makes sense, because then this area would actually serve a purpose, so... And I thought I saw, like, uh, something flash on the screen that I wasn't supposed to see because of the draw distance earlier, so... Okay, so ground pad on this. Okay, sweet! I got a flight pad. Alright, nice. Go ahead over here. Another flight pad there, maybe? Okay, yeah. Uh. And anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is as high as I can go. But yeah, we have uh, some notes over here. Got, like a little Easter egg machine. Check out that waterfall again. Because like you think that they'd hide something over here. Wait, that boulder looks a little bit different. Okay, sweet. Jiggy. Right, fourth Jiggy. Now maybe they're hiding something in these pipes here. Okay, just a gold feather there. Oh, this one has a Jinjo, though. Cool. Alright. Wait. Oh! Wait, yeah. So this should be able to break this. Okay, cool. So this leads over here. Another jiggy. The Jinjo's trap under there. Is that Super Smash Brothers Brawl? Yeah, it looks like there's a ladder up there. Wait, 
What's that block there for? Oh, sweet magic carpet. And I totally missed that note somehow, also. Okay, there we go, finally. Secret entrance. <laughs> oh, the mumbo transformation. 25 mumbo coins, that's a lot. But we have 33, so we're good. I don't want to transform just quite yet. Oh wow, I somehow missed that note there. Oh nice, you got uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> Alright, let's transform. Oh, we're a... Really a broom. Oh, we're like the bee. That's actually really cool. This is probably the coolest reskin of the entire game for the mumble transformations, I'd say. Well, I guess a broomstick is supposed to be stationary, so it's, this isn't animated, but it doesn't really need to be animated. That was actually really clever how he did that. We got a grunty switch and a flight pad here, too. There we go, got Jiggy. Get that Jinjo. Another flight pad. The secret entrance. Getting really close to getting all the notes here, so that's good. Alright, so I guess I can go transform back into Banjo now. Oh, what's this? We got... <laughs> Banjo 3 for the GameCube. Oh nice, that makes that appear so I can get up here whenever I want. Oh, just a mumble skull. I really thought that was going to be a jiggy. <laughs> oh nice, got another Jinjo. Oh, 
Right now I have access to flight out here. Oh, one egg short. Transform again, I can get that jiggy. I knew there had to be a purpose to that room. Since it was a grunty switch, I really thought it was gonna be something outside of the stage, but I guess it makes sense. We got an extra egg. So I can get rid of this guy so I can easily get flight almost whenever I want. There we go. Alright, nice. Got Jiggy. Alright, cool. Just two more Jiggies, and one of them is the Ginger one, so... Pretty much just one more Jiggy. Token. Second like honeycomb. Maybe this is gonna lead to the pink Jinjo. Oh, it does. Okay. Cool. Oh wait, there's a mumbo token there. Oh wait, I can probably go in here. Oh, I'll bet you this leads to that other area. Oh, I just remembered that last Jiggy is going to be that one that's going to be a bit of a pain. Because it's uh, by all those bees. But I have 10 gold feathers, so I should be good to get that one. Alright, what's in here? Oh, nice! Tenth Jiggy. It's just we're missing a single note, though. No! <laughs> There we go, 100 notes, thank god. I was so concerned that that was going to take me like forever to find. Alright, so this level is completely done. We're getting really close to beating the game here, so... I'm going to check out what's in this box here. I'd say it's really interesting doing like a whole playthrough of the game while I'm like recording and doing commentary, because I'm at about 15 hours of recorded material right now. And it's obviously going to take me a while to edit this down, but I'm looking forward to editing this video and finally putting it out. Okay, so 882 is for the final place. Grunty's Castle is the next one, alright. Okay, 
Okay, I think the entrance to Grunty's castle is inside the castle town. But it's been a while since we visited uh, this place here. Oh yeah, because it's been a while since we've been here. Oh, so we got some text from uh, the temple. So. So, yes, uh, the three secrets are this, that, and this. So, I gotta get my pen and pencil here and decode the message. So, it looks like this message is. No, Zora's. Oh, no, that's an R. Zora's River? Okay, this one. In the woods. Okay, this one's gonna take a little longer to. So, we got Haunted Forest. Alright, next one. Okay, this is the longest one we're gonna have to decipher. So we got really long word here. Close to a pedestal. Looks like we got the uh, European version of Ocarina of Time. Okay, so we just gotta route it. Oh, right here. Okay, that should be it. All right, sweet. Um, oh, nice, we got like a Donkey Kong room here and everything. Yeah, there's a mumbo token over there. Oh, I like how he like made these so hidden. And the hint system's obviously a really cool touch. Oh, sick! I got the original DK Arcade machine here. Wow, this is so cool. Like, they remade this original arcade machine and even, like, has music and everything. Alright, sick. Yes, yeah, so we got the gold feather upgrade finally. This is actually gonna be really helpful because gold feathers are really important for this hack. So it's one of the three secrets. Alright, well let's just go to the next level here. Oh yes, this is the this is the place. Grunty's castle is finally open. <laughs> master sword here. Is the master sword gonna warp me to the castle? I'm thinking. Oh, okay, sweet. Good start giving us a bunch of collectibles. Like oh, this really reminds me of like Mad Monster Mansion, which makes sense. Oh sweet. Put a fairy fountain here to get double health already. What? Oh, here we go. Now it worked. Alright, that's so cool. We got double health now, which is obviously going to be super helpful. And I like how the double health looks, because like the hearts finally kind of match how the health looks. Alright, that's honestly really cool that they have the Fairy Fountain here. 
It's got 20 gold feathers and full double health, so we're looking. It's looking pretty good so far. What's in there? We got honeycomb. It looks like we're gonna have one last transformation here. Hopefully, we'll have enough of the mumbo tokens. Oh, and there's a note door in the level. 828. 804. So we're getting really close to uh. <coughs> I'm gonna have to go in there. Oh wow, right into the lava. Of like a little snowy area over here. Okay, so okay, so we're probably gonna have the Walrus transformation on this level then. It looks like. Pretty epic music too, like Mumble token under there for when we learn flight. Let's go around first. Another note door. <laughs> Oh yeah, we get rid of that door. It's kind of cool. I wonder if we're gonna have to do something with that eye. Maybe we'll have to beat bomb it or something. Oh, I like how uh, they, she has like the same scarf that's kind of in uh, what you might call it, uh, free freezy peak. Even has the same like feather eggs thing that's in freezy peak. Alright, 846, don't quite have enough. Alright, so we got a Jiggy. All right, let's see what Ventilda has to say here. Even Mario wouldn't be brave enough to jump into Grunty's toilet. Now, how about you? I just saw an old friend of yours walking into Grunty's bedroom. I saw Grunty stuff something in the storage room closet after her trip to Platonic Studio. I'm 
combo token. Oh, Jinjo's in here too. Look at Grunty's castle there. Oh, that Jiggy totally fooled me. Also Jiggy in here. Oh yeah, the Platonic games are in there. Oh yeah, Grunty's toilet. Wait, what the heck? A little sub area. <laughs> so this must be where the walrus transformation is going to happen. You know, this just kind of seems poetic ending the game like this, you know? Just like having a nice peaceful area. Okay, yeah, so it looks like that's Mumble's house. Oh wow, the music's just even changed up here. Got Metroid over here. I think it's probably trying to transform. Mumble is probably the biggest house Mumble's had in this game so far. 25 tokens? Are you kidding me? No. Uh, shoot. Okay, well, I need 8 more tokens. Alright. 8 more tokens to transform, so... I just hope there's 8 tokens in this level I can get to transform. Oh, okay, uh, somehow I missed that Jinjo. Okay, another Mumbo token. 7 more. I'm just so worried that I'm not going to be able to get that many in this stage even, that I'm just going to be hooped. I'm going to have to go to another stage to get more tokens. I'm going to have to set all my notes. We're all Boggy here. Boggy, how did you get here? Boggy was my father's name. I'm his son, Groggy. You look different. Older and fatter are the words I'd use. I traveled through time looking for my father, but I never found him. How awful. All I've got left is my cap. One of his old scarves and a jiggy hid under my bed. Oh, so there's a jiggy under here. Yeah, I see it. Oh, we probably need to be the walrus to get it, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's no way we'll be able to get under there. There's six more tokens. I know where one is for sure. Ha 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 
I think all that book is the town drop book, so therefore we can do that move. So, yeah, we got Breath of the Wild there on the screen. That's a Wii U, yeah, the Wii U version. That's the way I played Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, we have the Wii U on the table there too. there. Oh wait, sweet. That's actually pretty cool. All right, nice. Another really clever Jiggy. What do we got here? We got a copy of... Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild. All right, Mumbo Token. Five more. I know where one is, so I just need to find four more tokens. I'm not completely screwed. Alright. Head behind this gate. So it's over here. Oh, we got a Bowser switch here. What the heck? Oh, this game! <laughs> you there? That ugly witch stole my Christmas lights. Can you make sure they get back safe? Stealing Christmas lights. I know I'm evil, but that's too much. I just like how they reuse this thing with like Bow Bowser and everything. Alright, cool. It's like really cool neat side quest. The fact that they like took Bowser and they even made the star like that there. That is so cool. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, put on your wing cap or whatever. Go through that star and finish the job. You'd better stay put right on the ground or up your butt my boot will be found. Okay. Okay, I think I need to do that three times. Oh, come on, no. More. Okay, there we go. Wait. Do I have to... Beak bomb her eyes now, though? Oh yes, I do. Alright, cool. Please, 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 please. 
Okay, cool. Did not didn't die there. Oh no 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 no! I did not see that. doing so good. Well, screw the notes because we're going to need to transform, so just head to the top and see what it has to offer. There we go. 846. <laughs> Oh, that's literally... Oh, okay. We can't even do it anyways. Please, just let me get the stupid token. Like, There we go. Four more. Okay, this is how I died before because I had a bad camera and I literally just walked off the ledge, so. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's enough mumble tokens here, so I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit, get some mumble tokens to come back to get the rest of the jiggies and notes here. But now we should be able to get to the other two upgrades because we have enough notes to read all the secrets, so. I'm hoping when I'm doing those upgrades, I'll just happen to come across some mumble tokens. Secret Jiggy. Okay, so if we go past the arcade, there's gonna be a Jiggy there. Okay, so in the field. Close to a pedestal. And it looks like it's just right there. Oh, I know where that area is. Okay. Then, yeah, we're gonna wanna purposely fall there in the bonus area. Oh wow, that's an X there. I always just I thought it was just like a grass texture, but alright. Here we go. Just do wait and see. Zelda's looks, I'll take and pretty I'll be. <laughs> Oh wow, we got like a shrine from Breath of the Wild? That is sick! Such a cool custom texture here, a cool custom model, I mean. Star Fox 64 back here. I still go out like this custom shrine. Oh wow, this is sick! A shrine in Banjo-Kazooie? Like... Holy, Mark Crickle really outdid himself. Even has the shrine music and everything is the textures perfectly. This is insane.
Oh, okay, Mumbo Token, which we need anyways, so I can't, I'm not complaining. I desperately need Mumbo Token, so... There we go, this should be the end of the shrine. Got the switch. Alright, nice, and that opens up that flight pad. Cool. You got the eggs. Alright, so it shows there's something in the wall. I think it's that thing there that we can actually go through. Okay, it's not that one. Alright, nice. That should be one of the secret jiggies here. Perfect. That's it. Nice. Oh, wow. You got the Kong's Banana Horde. <laughs> that is sick. This looks like it came straight from like Donkey Kong 64. Bonus barrel here. Super, super cool. Oh, I've actually played through this before. This is uh, a mod that Mark Kirkle did a while ago. But he repurposed this area for this hack. Yeah, this is Bound to in Donkey Kong Country. Okay, nice. Another mumble token. Just one more and I'm set. Another mumble token there. I'm gonna. I have to find a way to get that, because then I'll just be all good for uh, next stage. Okay, nice. Got 25 tokens. We can do the transformation now, finally. Okay, nice, that actually worked. Another mumble token there. Okay, nice. Got the feather upgrade, got all three upgrades now. Go down here. This should be the secret jiggy. Use our eggs to get this. Okay, nice. One more secret jiggy in this area. I know exactly where it is, so everything's coming together really nicely right now. Oh, so that's what that hole is used for.
Alright, see? It's on this side. Oh nice, I got the Mario Brothers arcade game. It's so cool. Because that makes sense that they have the pipes there too. Another like just insanely cool jiggy. Alright, Grunty's Castle. Now we can go back here. We can actually do the transformation, so let's go and collect all the notes and get the rest of these jiggies here. Oh, we got another number token. This is 27. Alright, now it's time to transform and just do the rest of the things in this level. Oh, cool, we're a milkshake? Uh-oh, that's not supposed to happen. Sorry, Mumbo Thirsty. Oh, come on. Well, Baron Bird, not bothered by cold water now. There we go. This under here. Wait. What's this? Some like Hilaria, like the texture work and everything here. Here. No. Alright, oh shoot, I can't believe I fell. Yeah, it looks like that's a death pit. I don't want to screw with that, especially with this many notes right now. Roosting goblins, our ghouls and goblins. Here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, geez. There we go. Top of the roof. Very nice. Another jiggy. of the notes in here, that's all I asked for. Oh, actually, I can drop down them over here, so we won't have to worry about uh, this stuff as much. Went over to this area. Oh, wait, is that no? Oh, there we go. We're, we're set. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't even see this tunnel over here the first time. Oh no. Garden the note. Gotta get back to this note, come on. There we go, that's all the notes in the game. No. What's going on here? This is just absolutely crazy. All the honeycombs in the game. Okay, so I wonder if there's anything like up here. Oh sweet! There we go, the last jiggy of the game. So if you look, oh, that's hundred percent completion right here we got. Nine hundred notes, a hundred jiggies, twenty-four honeycomb pieces, and I put in fifteen hours of playtime, so Forest Temple is by far the hardest part, too. Two hours and forty-nine minutes in the Forest Temple. Alright, well now it's time to face Gruntilda. Alright, I'm really curious about this final boss fight here. It should just be the regular boss fight, but in probably the same place that we fought Ganon. I don't want to sound too cocky, but I have double health and all these items, so I should be fine for this boss fight. I've had to really get good at doing Gruntilda's boss fights for ROM hacks, so I should be good at this. Quite the staircase we're going up here. Just building uh, tension. Alright, it's time. Almost. <laughs> the hype, though. Getting up to this boss fight. Still. <laughs> the build up. on everything here. Want to see if you can lately or free after we wrap this up? <laughs> Those bozos, they totally stole our luck. Banjo. Aw, oh, I like him. Dingpot, King of Hyrule. Neil Peasant. You know, King, don't make me laugh, sewer breath. I get Gruntilda's got you right under her warty. Er... What are you waiting for? You stupid pot, attack those two with soup that's hot. Sorry mistress, but Dingpot not have any attack animations. I called you king to get out of the way, but you messed it all up. 
a price you will pay. Isn't she awful, Dingpot? You should help us take her out. We'll, uh, we'll call you king if you can do it. You're Dingpot wannabe king. Jump in and Dingpot will fire you to the top. Yeesh, on a second thought, Grunty. You can keep Hyrule. Come on, Kazooie. You'll get to kick her butt again. I suppose I do deserve a reward after slogging through this mod. Alright, let's go. Alright, I'm psyched to do this final fight. You lousy losers must have cheated. There's no way my castle was defeated. But now that you two have crawled up here, from time I'll make you disappear. <laughs> this is really cool, this custom area. At well, least custom uh, Gruntilda boss fights are always fun. Oh, come on. I don't know if that lava's gonna kill me. That's something I'm really afraid about. Lava doesn't kill me. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, this part's almost done. this okay there we go two for two okay perfect there we go really still another hit part with the Jinjo statues, I believe. Yeah.
You gotta be like right on off for those. Jeez, here. Just the Ginginator. to shoot the eggs from like kind of far so Why is it? Boot my way in. Jeez, no, okay. There we go. <laughs> I guess I should have just done that from the start instead of trying to shoot it from far away. I could have easily had it the first time if I did it that way. There we go, the Ginginator. <laughs> Square. Before I go, I've got this to share. <laughs> That's really cool, they got the rock working there and everything. 
speaker and that stupid developer promised me. Invincible, he said I'd be. Curse you, Kirko. Curse you, Bottles. Curse you too, Banjo and Kazooie. Now, see fantastic credit screen. Maybe with surprise. See you in Banjo Kazooie? Staying at home edition. Game by Kirko. Alright, such a cool hack. Like, this is honestly just so incredible. I can't believe that. Like, this is a raw mag. This seems like just, just a regular Nintendo 64 game. It was just perfect. Writing and hacking by nine. Miscellaneous hacking Space Omega 5000. Sound hacking Jackson G13. Music James Andy Kirko. Rebo Fappenberger. By nine Artesian. And CPU Alpha. Testers Kirko, Christian Kuko. Jinjo Verde, Alpha Chino, By9, Jackson G13, Haganator, Volquera, and Space Omega 5000. Special thanks to Zonta Ked Zonta, Martin Watts, Banjo's Backpack Team, BK, and Zelda Ocarina Time Development Teams. Microsoft Games, Rare, and Nintendo. Oh, so cool. Kirkle Mods. Thanks for playing. Oh, this was insane. Oh, we even have a Triforce here at the end to collect. You must have cheated. It's not fair. The Triforce goes to the ugly bear. Wow, Kazooie, we got the Triforce. This is even better than that ice key. Meh. You've seen one gold shiny thing. You've seen them all. The Triforce will grant any wish to the mortals who obtain it. Gosh. Well, how about you get us out of this moronic mod and put us in a real new HD game? Very well. Your wish shall be granted. Well, hey. As soon as Rare gets around to it, it should only be a couple decades or so. Don't. <laughs> That's so, so cool. I like the end screen here, too. Alright, I guess there's one other thing that we haven't checked out yet. Is we have one more note door to open. This 880 note door. Oh, it's an Easter egg graph. That's pretty cool. So, it shows... It's hard to see because I'm playing on actual console. If you're playing on emulator, this would be uh, very prevalent. But, it's so you can go through each level and actually find all the Easter eggs and know how much there are from each franchise. That's such a cool little board there. Yeah, overall, just absolutely incredible hack. I'm looking at this, like, 18 hours of footage thinking, oh, I gotta edit all this, but... <laughs> Today is September 21st. Hopefully I get this video up by the end of September here. And I'll edit it down from 18 hours to like maybe 3 or 4. But uh, obviously, huge insane shoutouts to Mark Kirko. If you're not subscribed to Mark Kirko, please check out his channel. He does amazing stuff. And thank you guys for sticking around for this entire video. Like 3 or 4 hours long. I'm sure lots of you might have watched it through multiple sittings. Or maybe just skipped to the end. But yeah, thank you for checking out this video. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope that you guys all have a great day.